Hello? Hello? Hi. Okay, well that explains why my stream was so fucking quiet to start off with. <laughs> I I don't know what's going on. Um because I could see it in my own browser. Yeah, I think it's probably a Twitch thing. I'm a cow, so like Moo, whatever. Okay, I'm so glad you guys are here because I was just sitting here quietly, like. Fuck all no mates. Nobody likes me. Boo. Okay. Um, I'm so glad that you guys said something because I would have just carried on. Um, but yes. Also, uh, apparently you get ads again. I don't know what the fuck that was. But thank you for saying something. Hi, Luna. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Ali. Hi, Punky. <laughs> Throating is Dell. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys saying something. You're still okay? I didn't know that that was a potential variable. Like, I, I remember you saying how you were having anxiety about your work performance. Um but that there was like some internal system issue or something. Okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. Well, I, I'm glad you're okay. But yeah, I, cause I, I, I can't, I can't have any more sad bad now I, there is no bandwidth in my brain for that yes you are very hard workers incoming ads no the freakers okay so Thank you. I think it just it just sort of, you know, blends in a bit better. Okay. Um yeah, we have yeah. We 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 have many mangoes and then there will be many yeah he's painting and there's some over here too that are supposed to be of things but I'm, I'm not entirely sure old village and hunter in the forest but I'm about to get like swamped with uh pomegranates as well Hi. 
Thank you for joining me today. I was like, oh god, nobody likes me anymore. It's It's been so long since I started a stream and no one said anything for like the first 15 minutes. I was like, oh god, I forgot what this was like. Because it was... Oh. So weird. So, for a minute there, I was worried because... Um... I signed up for... I signed up to test uh, this new enhanced broadcasting system that Twitch are trying out. Um, where it uh, it basically you sends out so <clears throat> transcode for those who don't know transcoding is a really neat function that Twitch has but it's not available to everyone it's usually available to partners and then whoever's first in and it's transcoding is the process whereby you take a high resolution stream and scale it down so that everyone can see it um and and so it looks really good for everyone on everyone's devices but it's not always available which means that some people can't watch on mobile and this enhanced broadcasting system is set up to basically send out your signal in multiple resolutions so you can watch on mobile, you could watch on a crappy laptop, you could watch on your computer, you could watch on your TV. Um, and people are like, oh, you know, Twitch is just offsetting production costs. I'm like, maybe, but it sounds interesting. So I signed up for it and I got accepted into the testing program, but I haven't set it up yet. So for a minute there, I was like, what the fuck did I do? But then I realized I didn't, I haven't done it yet. Um, so I didn't. Hey, well, I, I appreciate you watching the ads because the ads do make a difference. They, they help me a bunch. Didn't I just do this? No, I don't mind. I'm. I will happily, happily share the data with that. Um. Obviously, it depends on like if we've had a, a big month. Uh, as a whole, I. Oh, hang on. Me. Find the right button here. Uh, analytics. Root earnings. Um. Uh, so normally on on a on a good month from Twitch as a whole I will get about $200. So that's my monthly income on a good month. Now uh but it can vary. So like February being a shorter month and I've not streamed much so it's going to be less. Uh so and this is this is my income. This is <laughs> this is it. I don't I don't get food stamps or anything like that. That's why I stress out about no that's everything that's subs and biddies extensions uh through turbo the lot um so that's that's that is it all um so but ad wise this month i've got uh so for the trailing 30 days uh 28 dollars in ads so it it does add up um for january i got 16 dollars in ads in december i got 27 so it's usually 
10 to 15 percent of my income sometimes more is just from people watching ads so it does make a difference and you get it adds up yeah punk is like i see what you did there Dal. um in turbo people who use turbo you do get something for people who watch to watch pay for turbo to bypass ads thank you it's from timu it was like 60 cents one of those terrible cheap websites that everyone says is fucking awful but it is within my budget and i like it um so yeah it depends on what's going on really during the month november was a really good month for ads but all it takes is like one really 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 busy stream and if you can maintain a massive raid for like over an hour you you've done good because every one of those people that raids in if they stick through an hour they're gonna hit that three minute uh chunk of ads at some point yeah exactly exactly amelia so but yeah i i have no qualms i'm <laughs> through I, I'll give you a, br a breakdown of like biddies. I say one thing I have noticed actually since using Tangier, I've been getting more biddies. So um, it does it does make a difference. All these little bits and pieces here and there. Yes. So I, I do very much appreciate, um, I know it's not fun, but I do appreciate everyone who watches the ads. Well, she's outside right now because we've had a couple of accidents and I, I don't have the uh, the wherewithal to deal with any more laundry. I've been washing blankets every day. <laughs> um, but when she's inside and on it and I'm watching her, she's loving it. It is squishy and it's big enough for her to like, where she can sprawl. She doesn't have to worry about sort of like trying to tuck her feet up or anything. I have so much. I don't know. I don't know how much fruit to candy. I guess that will do. It's a really nice beard, honestly. Like, it's very well made. I'm just going to chug this mango juice. Oh God, excuse me. Ugh, my doors. All right, we are making a lot of syrup. Oh, server five. Um, what are we at? Five o'clock? Let's just go do a check up on stuff. 11 days for the lie cheese. The same for the pomegranates. Oh god. Yeah. Stupid dubs. Ah! More fucking mangoes! Ah! 
Hi, Sadie. Um, you haven't had time when it it does. Yeah, it it, it does take. There's a single player, like being able to get into single player, um, and just have it on like super friendly mode helps. At the moment, my fruit trees are stressing me out, but, but I also love them, so it's, it's something. Yeah. Well, actually not, this, this, this month has been not great because I've had a lot of days off, so, but that's on average, yeah. This month I'm about three quarters that. Thank you, Punky. That's why I get so stressed about taking days off stream, because all it takes is like two days off and it adds up. <sighs> oh. So what, if, is it something new up there that's giving you allergies, Bunky? Also, a uh, cute game that I thought I was going to play today, I don't think I'm going to have access to until next week. Uh, hence me making you guys watch me create mango syrup <laughs> today you muted flint cricket <laughs> aren't you lucky having that privilege i can't mute flint i can still hear him through the wall Actually, the good thing is if he's playing this, wait, is he still playing that same? Like the, he can't, he can't multitask with this game. So he's not going to see you over here. <laughs> Hi, Cricket. <laughs> You'd like a mango? I think like a mango smoothie would be really good right now. But he, 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 he is tricksy with his observation. So to take that under advisement. I was, I keep meaning to send you a friend request on Discord, Cricket, so I'm glad that you did, because I was going to ask you something. I can't remember what it is now, but I was going to ask you something a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, it was very important. We're just going to sit in here and listen to fire crackle and the pot lid boil. I have I have a special notebook for stream stuff um, that my friend made, <coughs> Punky. It's like just like all my my little notes and asides for for stream stuff. <laughs> that, that's the Punky that made my book. Um, I would be. An absolute. I would be lost without this. That's like my my official notebook. And then I have my scrap notebook. The things that I know I'm gonna throw out. Because I don't want to make my notebook notebook messy. I I don't know. I'm one of those people, you get a brand new notebook and you don't want to write in it because it's all so perfect and pristine. It took so much, like, oomph to be able to write in this rather than just preserve it in its original state. Ali, I'm so glad it's not just me. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I, I know there's other people like that out there, but yeah. It's a very cute notebook. But consequentially, because I'm, I, I worry about what I'm putting in here, I've only used about a quarter of it. The notes are everywhere. Oh, I have... I have envelope. I I have envelopes and like... This is my, my scrap notebook from Dollar Tree for the stuff. Yeah. It, it's, it is. It's me. I wouldn't cover the couch in plastic. Wow. Well, but I definitely would have good plates that I, I wouldn't use. I don't actually. But yeah, I am that sort of person. A fancy pen. Now that's a good idea. You know, actually, I do have a cute special pen that Flynn's mum gave me. Oh, nice. Uh, that's what I'm watching. I'm just watching here on our baby cam. She's breaking my heart, Cricket. She's trying so hard. Um, very fine and scratchy gives you all the the fuzzies. I got this cute pen. Again, you know what? It's a cute pen, and I haven't used it because I didn't want to make it. I don't know. Brain. Look at this pen. It's been sitting on my desk. It's probably like dried out by now because I've not used it. I've not even I've not even taken it out of the packet until now. How cute is that? It's like a little bee. And I've never used it. Well, that's what this... I actually just read the instructions. It says... Don't put in mouth. It's handmade. Uh, refillable with 0.7 gel refills. It is handmade. Oh, it's still got the little, like... Here we go. The little cap on it. I mean, this is America. Uh, to be honest, I do tend to put... I. Not finishing that sentence. It writes pretty well. Actually, <laughs> Funky. Oh. Oh. Green. Oh, cricket. This is all gel pens. I need a pencil, a case for these gel pens. So, so many gel pens. That was from Flynn's mum as well. 
She's always hooking me up with the art supplies. I should use the useful thing. Oh, are you talking about the pen? I was like waiting for you to tell me what the useful thing was that I'm supposed to use. Oh yeah. Well, I've got this. Actually, I got it from Walmart. It, like it started with school sale. It's just like a plastic case. Um, and it's great. It it works like it holds all my colored pencils and my felt tips in there but i need another one for these pens because i i don't like leaving them like well i didn't know punky <laughs> thank you so, so. <laughs> yay where are we at with that this other useful thing water I couldn't figure out why my Jesus. I, I we're putting it up next time. We're putting the price up next time. Um, I do have amazing mods. It's, I can confirm this. I couldn't figure out my why my shoulders and my back were sore, but it's from lift, lifting Daisy. Nah. -uh. Yes, exactly, Amelia. Push, push the button to love, loves the, loves the mods. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah, we love, we love our mods. They, they are very helpful. They remind me to take care of myself. Uh, they take notes of things that I keep on forgetting. Um, <laughs> they remind me to do stuff. I think I'm Flint's IRL mod. I could do with one though. Though to be honest, most of my mods will also ping me on my days off and make sure I'm taking care of myself. So. It's, <laughs> no. No. I do feel like I'm 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 bumming pretty hard with Daisy though right now. Cricket, is that your cat in your profile picture? <clears throat> Looks like it has that Chimera trait, with the split coloring on its face. Oh my god, this is taking me so long. I, I may have made too much mango syrup. This is Sophie. She's really pretty with the coloring on her face. Lily and Munchkin, those are good names for cats. I'm getting, I'm getting sassed in game. Jenny, it is. Yes. So you put the, the cauldron. Oh, uh, in the slot where you would put the cooking pot. Um, and the key to getting liquids in there is to use buckets. Everyone needs a couple of a couple of buckets in the kitchen for cauldron cooking. 
But yeah, so liquids go into the cauldron in a really fucking weird way. Um, so if you put the liquids into buckets first and then from the bucket into the cauldron, you're away laughing. So Cricket is a regular of Flint's. Um, she's very, very kind and supportive and puts up with his bullshit. <laughs> Toast was apparently first. <laughs> um, and and Jenny is uh, a vintage story. Totally first. Totally first. First notice it was impressed. Well, no one, no one got first for my first stream today, which was you know. I believe you guys weren't here for it. So much, so much liquid. But yeah, the the liquid transfers in expanded foods all generally require buckets. I can't, I can't even brain that. Is this still progressing? I get it. First, first, second, second, first. Like the the second is first, the first is first. Oh no, it is progressing. Just very slow because there's so much liquid in there. What's first base? You know what? Growing up in a country where baseball isn't a thing, these shows will talk about first base, second base, and I'm like, what the? What the fuck is that? Like, I'm assuming like sexy times is like, I don't know, like a home run or something. I, I don't understand the connection between sports ball and intimacy. That sounds uncomfortable, Ali. <laughs> um, oh, let me. Oh god, I have just shy of twenty liters of syrup here. So the the cauldron goes in the the fire pit like you would with a cooking pot. And then see, like this is the problem with sex education. I'm even more confused than I was to start with. Oh heck. Like grand grand slam touch touch. Oh look, now my character's tooting as well. Didn't I have an empty bottle here? I just want I had an empty bottle. All right. Oh wait, hang on. Hold up. Ah. Uh. Ben. There we go. <sighs> I I still haven't seen that. Okay. Well, good news. I. Still have 10 liters of mango syrup. Yeah, Gillian Anderson. We were talking about this the other day. It was Gillian Anderson, and then there was uh, Rachel Weiss. Um, like the from the mummy. It was just like, oh, 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 okay. There's another one. I can't remember what it was. 
I guess it depends on the generational thing. Sandra Bullock, for sure. Oh, um... Tiro... No. Sarah Con Connolly? No. Jennifer Con Connolly. Sarah is in Sarah from the Labyrinth. Jennifer Connolly. I got there eventually. Charlie's Theron. Oh, she's gorgeous too. They're all such lovely ladies as well. Like, what the fuck? Oh. All these amazing girl crushes to have. It's so good. Just just checking for any last minute mangoes before I finish with the processing. Sarah, exactly, Punky. Well, I guess I can still candy these. What do I do with 13? Why do you have too much syrup? Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's not going to fit there. Oh, that one's empty. Wait, that that one's a partial bottle. So these shelves are almost entirely syrup. Uh, no. No. It was like fire fest. Oh, Jesus, fuck. You heard about from Soma? I. I am just so out of touch from what's going on out there, but I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> I, I can't process the real world right now. I mean, it's Glasgow. Nothing's going to be gentle there. I don't even know what that reference is, Punk. So I'm I'm one of those people I can't handle watch I can't stand watching short form content. Oh dear. So like TikToks and stuff? I, f I fucking hate it. I loathe TikToks. Um, it, to me, it's the same as changing channel constantly. I just want to focus on my salad. Yes. 45 euros for an AI scripted thing. It sounds terrible.
Oh dear. Uh, so we're shutting it off. Ooh, a bouncy castle! Oh my god, my house is... Can I make a syrup fountain? I don't think I can. Sadly. Good news! I have now have a bunch of candied mango. Don't know what to do with it, but I have it. <sighs> oh, yes, thank you. Yes, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. But I think... Everything is fucky because of having to restart stream and streamer bot is mad at me. So I don't know if there are ads coming. <laughs> Have a good walk, walk Amelia. Uh, yeah, I, I think it, it's going to be a bit fucky wacky. Because uh, my dashboard is saying 20 minutes for the ads. Um, so I'll try and keep an eye. Wait, isn't Birch Crate like one of those things, like mail order crates that you can get with like makeup and stuff in it? If you had a Birch Crate, I reckon it'd be like that, but it would like a, a voodoo doll. And like how, teaching you how to swear in foreign languages, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh god, no. One's enough, thank you. Is it though? I like getting deliveries in the mail. I don't want any more males. Yeah, okay, it looks like she's settled down. But no, it says Birch. I'm pretty sure Birch Crate is, is a... a thing. Right? Okay, 11 days. I really need to make some more food for myself. Fuck. I do. There's other foods to eat in this game that I can make. I just haven't done it. Isn't it cute? Um, peanut butter. Right. Oh, okay. So, bu bucket. 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 I, do, I have so much syrup here. I have uh, pomegranate syrup, orange syrup, pineapple syrup, and mango syrup. Pineapple syrup make The idea of pineapple syrup makes my mouth water every time. Oopsie. So yeah, that's that's if I it's it's so much easier. Part wait no? Wait. Wow. Oh shit. I forgot about that. Oh, wrong one. This one. Uh excuse me? Thank you. Pine berries? Oh. Oh, you just remind me you have strawberries.
We went when we went to the store the other day. We saw um, Publix had like strawberries on sale, but now I have to poke at Flint to make waffles so that I can have strawberries and sour cream on waffles. And before you all cross your scr like scrunch your nose up, it's really fucking good. There was one time a few years back where Publix had uh, strawberry punnets, a dollar a pound. And we didn't have a car at that point, so Flint rode our bicycle down... <laughs> Hi, Molly! <laughs> Flint rode our bicycle down to the, the Publix store with a backpack and just, like, filled the backpack with strawberries. And uh, brought it home and just put it on the counter and was like, here you go. And I was just like... I don't, it must have been like 20 pounds of strawberries that he bought home and I just sat there happy, so glad, just like processing them all. I made like strawberry jam, I, oh, I ate so many strawberries. Molly, I hope you're having a good day today. They really are. I will gorge on them until I, I'm sick. I love this little room that I got set up here. But yes, now we have strawberries. So yes, strawberries and cream cheese on waffles is something that Molly got me onto and it's really fucking good. It sounds weird, but it tastes like cheesecake. Because you get that, it's sort of like the sourness like you would get with, with, uh, from like cream cheese, you did that slight sort of sour tart and then the strawberries, do it. You'll love it, Ali, guarantee it. You can do it with jam too, but it's not as good. Oh, this is legendary sunflower candy. Yeah. You can always sprinkle like a little bit of uh, powdered sugar over it or toss the strawberries in powdered sugar if you need more sweet. But yeah, it's it's a, a dangerous combination. And I again, I'm, now I'm drooling thinking about that. This is so much better than when I had to like hold a mouse button down. Quality legendary. Ninety forty five. It has an attack power in it when eaten two hundred set. What? I, I'm not quite sure what's that what's going on there. But yeah, all right. Off. It's my kitchen aid. This is a traditional kitchen aid with a, a windmill and <laughs> cogs and stuff. Um, the oldie kitchen aid. Oh, shit. Hey, give me that back. <sighs> okay, so now I have plenty of food. That was, that was a concern. Um, bottles. This, the effort it takes to get all of my stuff together just so I can go travel somewhere else. Okay, what are we at? 11 days. So like the 15th? No, 18th of May. 10th of May for the olives. 18th, all right. Feeling like I've got a duck. Yeah, 
Where's my bees? I haven't made any more scaps for them because I have a unreasonable irritation with harvesting reeds. Even though I know I can just use a scythe, I don't know why it just like irks me. So the bees are overpopulated right now. I'm a terrible bee mom. This windmill is so ugly. So we started building at the new site last night and I think I need to make some adjustments. Oh wait, what? Ali? What? Did I miss an update somewhere? Game updates. Ah, jeez. <laughs> ah, jeez. That's the problem with having an update channel. It's probably just updating progress. Permanent underground structures? Shut up. New interface for handcrafting items. Molly! Ugh. Ow! Uh, I'm gonna have to get my reset the server. Safe houses getting fixed. Character traits will have more direct gameplay implication. Well, the animal, yeah, we they've they've been teasing animals for a while now, like for hunting. It's a thing I keep getting torn between, like PZ and this because I enjoy them both, but they both sort of occupy the same brain space of like big open world buildy explorey. So I, I can't process more than one at a time. <laughs> okay. So this is what I have so far. I'm not liking it. Procedure generated wilderness. Biomes. Oh, look. <laughs> ah! Okay. So this is the room that I'm gonna use for smithing. Get her. Oh, I need some more birch. I think that's what I, I came to the conclusion of here. It's gonna be my rooftop garden. But I need a bunch more birch. And I need to figure out I think I <sighs> Oh I 
can't finish sentences. Um, I feel like I need to move everything like over this way a bit more. But I could just start building the second, third level, I guess. Over here more. Yeah, it's really pretty. It makes it reminds me uh, a lot of New Zealand with it being green. So I have like a vague idea of, of what I want to do and an inspiration of I think I'm going to close that off. And I think there's enough bamboo here if it grows further. That um, mole men won't be able to come down there. Possibly. But if I have enough light, I don't think it'd be an issue. And then this is going to be entrance into storage area. So now I'm wondering if this should be... I don't know why I bought a bucket. The, the door to the storage area in here. Make this chunk wider. means we're gonna have to remove well, how do I get rid of these That was interesting. Trying to get the uh, the anchor point for those beams is kind of finicky. visible inside oh it is the middle one that needs to go up. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll leave that there actually. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm getting at with this. One, two, three. 
three. Or is the ceiling? One, two, three. This is me trying to not alter the terrain. Uh, so instead, I'm altering the terrain. Okay, so the idea is you come in here, you would storage the air smithing pottery whatever in here that will come okay I was worried that it was going to obscure the trees but I think we can actually move that forward one Maybe Okay, it may be that the ad timer and Twitch has synced up. Possibly. Yes. Okay, we're having an air break right now. That is like the, the bug that we had before. I've I've never encountered that before, at ever. That was the weirdest fucking thing. I do really like how that birch looks there. pieces left so I don't think I've got enough to frame the door either
Okay, so birch is something we need a lot of. I'm going to use the birch to add a little bit of warmth to all the, the white. This is going to be birch as well here, not stone. And I think that will be two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four. It's up one too high. No, maybe not. But I might be able to build. Oh, might be able to build over this. Maybe. This is making me want to play Starfield or maybe Outer Worlds. That's music. I feel like that would be a really good spot for Windows too. They're probably more like those. I can see that. For sure. I still need to finish that. I'm like part way through number two. <sighs> but I had to take a break because the back seating was just getting a lot. And I didn't want to ruin a game that I knew a lot of friends really enjoyed. So I knew I would enjoy it. I just needed to be able to do that myself. Me, me too. I still like cyberpunk. The thing is I end up spending um, so much time in between playthroughs that I get to the point where it's like do I start again or do I just try and pick up where I left off but if I start again then I get bored because I've done all the things again but if I pick up where I left off I'm like well <sighs> sorry Hey, I am. I can multitask, nerd. Your information was very important, okay? Um, yeah, I was like, I don't know if I should like, 
pick up where I left off or just like start again? Very confusing. I, f I think I like where this is going. I think I've I've lost the uh, already the the basic inspo where this was coming from, but I like where I'm going just by getting that extra shape. I have to do something out the front though. This space intrigues me. I like this. I like this a lot. Thanks. It's a very different vibe to my um my hobbit house. Um, excuse me, bamboo, you're like a little bit in the way. Can we just here we go. That there. That this space, I I really like this, the bamboo. I'm not sure how I feel. I do what I want. I don't know how I feel about this here I like this because I want to have like a like a little marina dock that you sort of like can pull up to from the lakes as well it's really good Sadie It's for Sadie. Sadie has got their A1C numbers into a normal range, and I'm very proud of them. Good job. Also, now getting a mild high for my Sharpie, so it, it's a win win. Is very good. <sighs> Don't too near. Okay, so that's floor, right? No. I guess it was a good thing I put on a staircase. Um. I do like I I I do have a. Uh, a design in in mind but this is it's not this isn't what I have in mind but I'm just gonna see what happens well that makes sense you can take better take better care of yourself if you're supported 
Drax. Hi, Drax. <laughs> Hi, Ape. Hi, Molly. Hi, Stu. Hello. Hi, Tars. Nice to see ya. Have we got any palms on chat? To see ya, nice. Um, thank you. It's <laughs> just you. <laughs> um, thank you for that raid. Fancy meeting you here. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Oh, I see. Now, now there's a chat filter. You guys can start kicking it off. I see how it goes. Um, but thank you for the raid. Welcome in. For those of you who came over with Drex, hello, hi, I'm Del or Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. I am also playing on the, the server of Drex, uh, Vintage Story. When I'm not playing Vintage Story, I'm thinking about Vintage Story. Um, I pretend to play other games, but I'm pretty much always thinking about this one, to be honest. Really? I mean, no one's surprised. Um, I do also do crafting. Um, like, IRL crafting, knitting, crochet, cross stitch, play, occasionally do art streams. Um, I know it's late for you. Wait, is it? It's like 10.30. But yeah, you need to head off. Please, let's go do our self care. <laughs> wow, Abe, what a coinky dink. <laughs> Who plays Vintage Story? Oh, it's just this block game. It's it's just like, it's it's basically just like modded mic. I can't say it. Um, This is going to be my workshop area. Um for smithing and like pottery the the Drex the one and only Drex yeah I was just messing around with with the beams and I was like oh hey I kind of like that the one who flew a glider into a cliff face <clears throat> what? Really? Lame. I have to unsubscribe now. I'll be right back. Um. <laughs> so, the the plan is to have multiple levels. Um, but I, I'm kind of I don't know what I'm doing. So far, we have this like entryway. This is going to be the workshop space. Uh, this is our feature garden. Um, I will fight bears as long as I can stand on a nerd pole and throw rocks. Uh, this will be. This will eventually be like the water access with a door. Um, this will lead into storage, and then from there, it'll go up. And I'm trying to like have multiple levels and I feel like it's going to bite me in the tuckers, but yeah. I'm trying to decide now if I want to move the stairs over against the window here so that this is open. Um, but before I do anything, I really need to get some more birch. Uh, thankfully, thank you. Um, thankfully, oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. Uh, instability, 50%. Tap it. That's it. It's fine. If 
It's interesting. Of course, it means that you end up mining out entire blocks. I don't think you can break an entire block once it's been chiselified. Um, but I need white chalk anyway, so. But yeah, if you're mining and not wanting, not worried about, um, God, that really does do a lot of light, doesn't it? The glow. It, <laughs> Ali, how's that working for you? Well, obviously pretty good then. All right, but yeah, we need we need birch trees. So also planning on this being a garden of sorts. I might put some fruit trees up here. I'm I know apple trees won't fruit here, but I think they're really pretty, so I might just grow some anyway. Oh, say, uh, Ali, thank you for clipping that for Sadie. Not too kind. <clears throat> but I'm also trying to stick to just using three building materials. So, um, the aged chalk bricks chalk blocks and birch one of those like rules that I set for myself in like any any game that I play where I'm building or decorating always just like three materials usually try and go for like something with like a very minimal texture something with like a horizontal texture and something with a vertical texture Preferably with some contrasting colors. And that that usually does the trick to <clears throat> um designing with doubt. It's it's something that I, I noticed I do in The Sims uh, and any other number of building games. And and that way I don't get overwhelmed with trying to design things. Um, but I don't normally just build in like stark white so it's it's a different thing but I feel like the, uh, the three thing <laughs> the, the, the three textures stops things from getting overwhelming a lot of people do it without even realizing it Oh, excuse me. Um, I really need to to figure out some recipes for dealing with all this candied fruit that I have. I have a lot of candied fruit and a lot of syrup. I really ought to catch, capture some chickens too and then just go set them off somewhere so that I can make um, the soft dough. I should write my list, shouldn't I? My shopping list. The 
This windmill is such an eyesore. That's my brown coal, babe. I fenced it off because I keep falling in there. I got, I got tired of jumping to try and harvest the, the fruit at the top of the trees. <laughs> so I, um, I put a bunch of blocks up high so I could just like run along. I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. So I think in the next, um, in my next build, I'm actually going to set up a, a rope, like a path network up above and put more space between the trees. Because <laughs> I was just getting tired of like jumping and getting lost in shrubbery. Ow. What? Two days. I have so many pomegranates. But I have so many pomegranates. I'm getting anxiety over the number of pomegranates I'm going to have. Pomegranate. We're gonna end up with like pomegranates and lychees and olives all popping at the same time. Oh, do I have any charcoal in here? Oh. Um. Alright. Uh, yeah, always more chickens. Birch. Planks. Birch planks. What else? I can't remember what else I said. I don't know. Oh, apparently they use. You wouldn't think one tiny piece of charcoal could fit like that much. What is this? This feels really heavy. Oh, it's a psalm. Wait, have I got... I really need to plant these too. I've got all this compost, but I've got no high fertility soil to put it in. So that's a, a to-do list. I need to make an axe. These are to my totally legitimately obtained steel tools. That I definitely did not liberate. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just borrowed them. Well, I've not used them. They've not had any wear and tear. So they're still in good working order. Okay, this playlist is weird. Hey! Hey! 
guys with streaming? Okay, so we're gonna make another axe. We're gonna chop a bunch of birch trees down. Probably replant a bunch too. Okay, but hey, no Westy, good to see you again. Our paths keep crossing. I don't, I don't know what button I'm supposed to have there. We can't remove oh <laughs> I mean it, it is early is uh more stacks let's do that one too so I get more seeds oh shit what am I making an egg Hello? Is the server shitting itself? What was that about? Was I just not hitting it properly? Maybe. Weird. Not had that happen before. I was probably just hitting the button wrong. I guess and I mean that's reasonable I, I can understand that it just needed a hug yeah whoopsie sometimes we just all need hugs you know Oh, that sounds really good. Um, right? Hugs and duffel bags. I mean, depending on where the letter has come from, I I will accept that too. Been wanting rice, but yeah, it's my influence spreads. It was really good. So I. I got dinner going in the slow cooker about lunchtime yesterday and then I forgot about it. So by the time I ate it, it had been sitting in the slow cooker for like 10 hours and it was very, very well cooked. Like not burned, like super tender. It worked out very well. We, we eat a lot of rice. All right. Hopefully. Huh? Wait. No. What? Weird. They said that they updated the wireframe settings for this in the last update as well. 
to make them easier to see and i i super appreciate that but i haven't done it because the wireframe affects everything so if you're trying to look out look outside the window at your pretty view and you have the wireframe bold then it's like right there in your face can't reach it So I have the wireframe says as small as I can get it. Cricket! Cricket. Hey! Thank you, darling. Be be sure to pick a color for your scarf trunk. But thank you, Cricket. I appreciate your support for Flint and I both. Very kind of you. That alert always catches me off guard. <laughs> Every time. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. I think I need to change the, uh, the color. Oh, now don't forget now, Cricket, now that you have the sub, to both of our channels you should be able to trigger the the Gur song the doom song in his chat with my b emote use it use it wisely i'm pretty sure possibly just the the basic b the the um this one? I think. Yeah, the girl who this song. The, I, I'm a singer doom song now. Maybe. It's the one I use to get his attention. It might work for you. I can't remember how we how I set it up. But it's there's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, excellent. It's probably going to get really confused. If it does work for you, it's gonna he's going to get very confused. Because he'll expect that it's me trying to tell him something. You did stretches too? I can't read. I, I mean, I could just like... Put a block up. Let me know if it works. I'm going to assume by his smile that it did. I, I literally could just put a dirt block there. Cricket is so clever. <laughs> Cricket's playing with Flint. Excellent! I th I th thought it would. I wasn't a hundred percent, but I saw his grin and I was like, "Oh, there we go." Ma said, "I usually use it just to to get his attention for something." Um, but there's not that many people that are sub to us both. Uh, so it's it's still one of those like quiet quiet thing another another cheeky little thing that he won't want me to tell you right um he leaves obs up all the time 
when he's at his desk. So there's times when he's like, when if I'm in my room and I, I need him to do something or to get his attention or just to like be a shit, I'll just randomly do that be emote in chat and then I'll hear him because all of a sudden you hear this, I'm missing the doom song now <laughs> coming through his speakers and he's like, cat. <laughs> I try. I try not to overuse it because I, don't, you know, I, I want to keep the impact. Uh, but it, it entertains me far too much, and that is why I don't keep OBS running twenty four seven. Hey, Brello. But yeah, just just a, a a sneaky sneak for just for, just for those of you in here. Good, good, good. Hi, Alpha. Good news, we're not talking about poop when you join this time. I like the last couple of times where you've joined chat. Well, I mean, we are now. You do. You really do. All that means that we just always have the best of times. Uh, that's gonna Am make. I not turtly enough for the turtle club. That's not fair. That that was the random quote. That it decided to spit out. I echo. Honestly, going by the quotes, you think we have very trite conversations. It's always about like food or poop or sex. We talk about other things, honest. Robot frequently throws me under the bus. All right, well, I've planted more trees than I've harvested. So I think that's good. I got how many of those ones that I planted? <clears throat> A lot of acacia trees. I don't even like them. That is, that is a good point. I I was a little concerned that our conversation last night was going to end up with uh, <laughs> some some interesting context, out of context quotes. Um, here we go. Man, I, I still don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm going to go get more. That's true. I do appreciate the uh, the restraint. I don't know, we have some pretty funny serious conversations too. Is 
it's snowing again? Oh, we'll tell it to stop. That's just not allowed. Meg, Chili Mac, hello. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm all out of ideas. I'm sorry. That's all I got. I'm, I'm trying to convince Flint that he needs to get me planet crafters, but it's not working. <laughs> Post has acquired logic. The weather is being really bipolar. It, yesterday it was 84. Um, and today it's back down into the 60s. And fuck to find out what tomorrow is. Like 58 right now. I just <clears throat> yeah. I just wanted to like pick a temperature and oh okay, never mind. I was like, I just wanted to pick a temperature and stick with it. For the next four days, the high is supposed to be 77. Well, I did that didn't, to myself, didn't I? In fact, the high of 77 and a low of 61 for the next four days. I think my phone is listening to me. I mean, obviously, my phone is listening to me. Well, I mean, it's obviously, there's, there's no way that it's going to stick to that, but that's still really warm. I think we're pretty much done with our... Full weather though. Yeah. That's it. Back into the late 70s, early 80s. When I when I say that I want it to pick a, a temperature and stick with it, I just for the benefit of my phone, I want it to pick a, a lower temperature and stick with it. Like, if we could just... 60s? I feel like that's a good compromise. Like, late 50s, early 60s. That's my happy space right there. Yeah. Cool enough that you can, like, bundle up if you need to. But, but not so cold that you can't go out and do stuff. Yeah. Well, 60 degrees Celsius is um, like hot water. It, yeah, it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've slowly got used to it. I have like a, I mean like a range that I use in my head. So like, anything more than eighty five is officially too fucking hot. Uh, like, anything in the sixties and seventies is that's good. Um. 40 and below is pretty fucking cold. 32 is freezing your balls off. Uh, that's the official Dell scale of Fahrenheit. Um, and I just use that as a frame of reference rather than trying to convert. Because <laughs> I don't know. I've been here for like, uh, I don't know, like 14 years. They make your brain melt, yeah.
yeah i mean it, it's absolutely it's it's what you what you know and what you you're raised on um but yeah like 32 degrees fahrenheit is zero celsius um so that, that's my one of my frames of reference there and whatever like when it gets to in summer it gets to around 40 degrees celsius here and it's muggy as fuck and uh, that's that is too much I don't like that at all uh but we we get we get from uh all of that different range but mostly it's just hot and sweaty here though because it's florida that's that's how florida rolls more because even if i don't use this straight away i can get more plants down yeah utah we had a really mild winter this year i mean we always have a mild winter but it was like not really cold at all we had some some chilly days and i definitely needed my heater on for a few of them um like my office got down to like 40 degrees a couple of times which is like i don't know less than 10 degrees celsius for inside for an inside space is pretty fucking cold as far as i'm concerned It's it's pretty cold. I'm I'm waiting for the the annual media panic of hurricane season's coming. Oh my god! And the anxiety they bring with it. That's that's fun. Hmm. <coughs> Man, my throat has just been so hinky the last week. <laughs> Ali, I'm seeing your clips that you're putting in to Discord today. Thank you. Hmm. Honestly, that sounds really good, Echo. I had to go I went back through my VOD today to um try and clip my encounter in the underwater ruin last night. I still noped out just watching that. I was just like, nah, I'm good. Oh, am I about to get a rift spawn on me? Uh, well, I I did post a clip. I was exploring uh, a, I, a, an underwater ruin and it looked really cool. Like it was this like stone circle kind of ruin. I'm not going back. <laughs> um, And then I noticed that it had like corridors that were underwater and you could like walk through the corridors um and so i did and i got out of the water uh and then i turned a corner and there were like little beady red eyes of death chittering along towards me and i was like and i'm leaving <laughs> nope 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 nope
Uh, someone said it was a saw blade here? They were not friends. I think there was a locust, but yeah, yeah, Stu said the saw blade locust was in there. They were not about to invite me for a cup of tea. Yeah, I I wasn't expecting I mean no, they weren't, Oliver. But, but yeah, but no. <laughs> but no. Uh. Okay, I may have made too too much. Hi Brandis! What's a story? Oh, it's an old one. It's an old one. They wanted me for a snack with their tea. Yes, they wanted Dell on crumpet. Fuck, no, I want crumpets. All right, that's that's a fair amount of birch. You've got lasagna in the oven? Fucking yes. Golden syrup. It, for me, crumpets are all about butter and then like the golden syrup in it so it just like sort of soaks through. Or honey. But you know what? <clears throat> have your crumpets the way you like them. Just make sure you have crumpets. I am excited that you have lasagna in the oven too. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> Did I eat before stream? I can't remember if I had anything before stream. I think I did. Yeah, Flynn's mum bought us Taco Bell. Oh, that's why I'm hungry again. <laughs> you should have some crumpets. I need to get some crumpets. Publix has crumpets sometimes. Just saying, if you're in the southeast, you Get yeah, crumpets. Chicken enchilada. <sighs> yes. Okay. You keep talking about food. You're all going to have to provide food tax, which means pictures of your delicious foods. They are quite delicious. I don't really know how to describe them. They're like a... A small, more porous hotcake, but they've got a bit more of a structure to them. No. They're nothing like a biscuit in any way, shape or form. Oh no! Yeah, the frozen ones always take like four hours or some bullshit. And you're like, come on. I need lasagna in me now. I do... 45... Oh, look. Very dramatic. That's totally unnecessary. Okay, what are we at? 8.30. 9.30. I can read the time. They're just really good, Echo. Crumpets are delicious. I think that's like the best way, is just like a, a more porous, slightly chewy hot cake. Pancake. Usually they're like sort of that sort of size, like the, the size of like a, a mug. 
and they're traditionally toasted and then like with butter and then like some other topping on there but they sort of they absorb the toppings but they also kind of just you know toppings sort of melt out of them too i feel like what i've described doesn't taste good doesn't sound good no nothing like a scone it's it's one of i keep on trying to just i've had multiple teams are trying to describe a crumpet <laughs> but it's just it doesn't really work um and people are like what about an, so they're the size of an english muffin but that's where the similarity ends Thank you, Drex. Yeah, I was just trying to find a, a link. Yeah. That is a very good picture of a crumpet. Yeah, my mouth is watering at that too. I've had them from Publix before. I know. But, uh, I'm the sort of person who will just take like a bite out of butter. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, well, it's delicious. The stew's like crumpers. I have them, yeah. So you usually find them... They have like a... They're usually chilled. Um, So kind of like... Like with the, the chilled, like the bagels and stuff. But the last couple of times I've been in, they have had them. Um, but you might have to ask. They're pretty good about getting things in if they don't have them in stock. I don't know. I've never tried to make a, a crumpet before. But also, you can tell someone that they're a nice bit of crumpet. And um, means that they're, they're, quite, they're quite lovely to look at. Yeah, to stop the mix from spreading. I don't know if I'm assuming they're fried rather than baked. I don't know. Fried real or heat? There you go. All right, your your mission this week. Find a crumpet. Oh, fuck. I'm so hungry now. Oh, okay. This is this is the British recipe. Hailing from England, there are cross between English muffins and pancakes. Uh, make a dough, put it into rings, cook on the stove until bubbles pop on the surface. All right, that doesn't look so bad. Oh God, I can't, like my mouth, I'm... Yes, please do. We do have, you can pop it in the uh, food channel on Discord if you like. Um. Oh, if it's from the Guardian, well, there you go. Oh, it's from who? Yep, never mind. I saw who that's from. Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. I love his. I used to watch his show all the time. Get this woman a crumpet. They look slightly heavier. That looks more like a. Oh, there we go. A pie clip. Then I. Do it! Do it, do it, do it. And tell me how it goes. They all look pretty easy to make, to be honest. Because pictures, those ones look like really dense. 
but yeah do it let's just have a crumpet day I'm I'm gonna run out to my building site and it's dark and thrifty so this is not great but I'm gonna do it I don't think I have any crumpet rings but I bet you could just make some like well do you get the rings for here for for poached eggs and stuff um, but I bet you can just make them out of oil. Could have a British Bake Off, but need a good Dell community name. The Great British Bake Off? But on a lesser scale. Oh god, we watched so many episodes of that on in Discord. That's not a thing. <laughs> I hope not. No, that's what happens in 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 summer. Oh my God, look! Just because you know your messages can't be seen in seen in chat. How does Booba Cakes lend anything towards British Bake Off? Except for not even alliteration, literally just boobas. Booba, yeah. Booba. I'm gonna come up with a, a what's it sound like a boob 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 tea time is a thing you just have to make it a thing you can have tea time anytime anytime is tea time if you have a cup of tea yes ape I love how we're now having a, two conversations. One about baking and one about the definition of boobs. I mean, it, it can be. Second breakfast. That's 11. No, no, that's before 11. That's like 10, I guess. And then there's elevens is. Beard, look. <laughs> boba. No, boba and booba are two different things. It's, we're not talking about Teddy T. I, I don't know, Bed. What if? Black lavender honey oat milk. That, there, that's a lot of flavors right there. You heard that Boba was named Boba because Booba. I'm I'm dealing with a case of uh, semantic satiation right now. Oh 
beard, beard, look, you're not helping. <sighs> it's the... Mm-hmm. Sure. This is fine. Everything is fine. I think everyone has chosen chaos today. I mean, yeah, it is. More so Sundays. Thank you. I still don't know what's going on here, but it's a thing. You should. 10 out of 10 Dells agree. Apprentice should play more Vintage Story. I mean, and those are some pretty high odds. So um, it's probably in your best interest to do it. Damn. Don't. Don't know what I want to do with this space. This. Well, you just had to go in backwards, didn't you? Yeah, I was, maybe? That's gonna make it go weird too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, so what we're gonna have to do here, this, I don't, I just don't know if I like. Oh, I suppose it's better now, it's worse. I, re I really want to keep the bamboo. I feel like this would be a really cute light well. I could wall this entirely off. I need 
transient? Sorry, I was like the deep in thought there. Hey. Hey, Cash. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Take that. All right. Uh, I'm wearing compression gloves, yeah. Um, because I have gammy, gammy hands. I get a lot of joint pain. Um, in my fingies. And so I try to remember to wear compression gloves when I'm gaming. Um, and that helps a bunch, especially if it's a game where I've got to do a lot of, like, long key presses. what this area is going to be either. Uh, no, please, you don't, no need to apologize. Um, I, I big recommend. So one thing to be aware of, you can get them for pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, hey, Ravi, did I miss you coming in before? I hope not. Sorry. Um, if you order them from Amazon, make sure you check the reviews because some of them, some of them have really... Yeah. Thank you for restraining yourself, Stu. Um, some of them have really shoddy stitching and so will tear at the seams. Um, but yeah, compression sleeve absolutely will work. You should be able to find them a compression sleeve or um, sometimes they're recommended for like tennis elbow, but it's the same thing. They just do a squeeze. Um, the ones, I don't know if I've got... The ones that I have on... Uh, are in stock right now. Oh. Well, these are the ones that I have, but apparently they're out of stock right now. But this should give you an idea anyway. These I've had for a couple of years now. I chuck them in the washer, I chuck them in the dryer. I think I've had one wear a seam has gone and I was able to repair it, but they, they're just really useful. I really like that they cover... Um, they don't come up really high, but they cover the middle knuckle, which is where I get a lot of the pain. Um, and I will sleep with them sometimes as well. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, you can... You don't need to spend a lot of money to get them, but they they make such a big difference for me. Um, but I, I don't think I could... Like, I didn't wear them at all yesterday. I completely forgot. And I, I felt it. Oh my lord. Oh hey, this looks like a potential doorway. Party. One human. Hello. Hi dude. Wine. Wine. Yes, trucks. Welcome in everyone. Hello, hello. I Okay, we good on ads. Fine, thank you for the raid, friends. Uh, welcome in, everyone. Uh, I hope you had a lovely stream. I hope there was much boobin. Oh, all right. I'll see you later. Um, be it. Welcome in. Hi, hello. You got your dream truck? Yes, congratulations. Uh, I have a button for this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ollie! <laughs> um, I would love to see a picture of your truck, if you have one. 
Um, but yeah, welcome in. Hello, hi, I'm uh, Del or Deliria. Uh, I am playing Vintage Story. I do also play Trucks. Um, on occasion, I dabble in Truck Sims as well, uh, and also a bunch of other things. We we uh, we have very parallel interests. Why don't I? Um, so I hope you are uh, find yourself comfy here. I may be just a little bit more exclusive. Uh, but thank you for the raid, Wayne. And if you need to go, uh, and the same for Drax as well, if you need to go and take care of yourself after stream, please, please do the self-care. It's important to take care of the meat suit and the brain meat. Hey, I, I have been known to, to use some choice language on occasion. Wait, why these things doing weird? It expletive. I say naughty words, Ravi. That's what I'm getting at. Exclusive? Wait, I said expletive. No, I said expletive. Look, you guys can't hear a Kiwi accent. That's not a B problem. Your ears should be trained by now. No, exclusive. I'm not fucking exclusive. Look, look, you can see my deck right now. It's a bit shrubby. Needs a bit of maintenance, but otherwise perfectly functional. It's a lovely deck. Great view. Nothing that a good uh, coat, of, coat of varnish won't, you know, spark up a little bit. Right, Ravi. Ravi, the family friendly, who uses my channel as a chance to kick out, kick off. I, I'm the outlet. We're the outlet for Ravi. Um, secret, yeah. Ravi can Ravi contains his ass to to just here. Oh, is it rainy? Okay, this is looking interesting. That is true. Okay. <laughs> we were Ravi, yeah. Ravi's other twin. You do run a very gentle channel. But that's right, I remember you saying that you mod for, uh, for Eddie. And things are pretty fucking bonkers there. I, for the longest time, I tried to be like proper. My first year of streaming, I think I tried to be proper, and it's just so not, not proper. I don't want to say proper. I tried to restrain myself, I think. It's just not a me thing. I love going to calm streams. Like, I love that I know that I can visit, like, your stream wine or uh, Molly's stream and Ravi's stream, and I know that there's not going to be, like, loud noises and shrieking. No, not at all. Like, I really appreciate that. Um, I think I tried to do like the customer service thing when I started streaming. Yeah, and it it's so not me, especially because I came from hospitality and I worked in in sports bars with tradesmen. 
which is how I'm I'm very comfy with. Oh, no. Thank you. I can be until I see things that are scary in the dark and then I say naughty words. I've been known to say naughty words on occasion. Okay, what am I doing? What are we doing? I need some more stairs. Thank. Wait, what? Oh, right? No, I was like, wait, there's a creepy guy in the water? I don't, I don't see anything. It's amazing, right, with that, how that works. <laughs> Thank you, Echo. How just like one, all it takes is just like one connection. And then all of a sudden, community happens. Like one raid. And all of a sudden, what's on? Echo is very good. There's a reason that Echo is is a, a stream archivist. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like, I... I met Molly through No Man's Sky, uh, and she raided me during the Leviathan uh, expedition. Um, and I... I think she said it was because I had whale emotes in my title and also the pronouns command. Um, and then I was so charmed when I, I popped in that I think I looked for quite a while before I got comfy enough to speak up. But I was just like, I love this new this new streamer that I've met. It's amazing. Um, I love the stream. And so I just sat there and I think actually wine that night I may have raided you afterwards vaguely because I was looking for someone new to raid and then I think not knowing that there was a connection between you and Molly like vague vague memories and I was just like, it was like a, a little like circle. But yeah, it's funny how these Twitch connections sort of spread out. It is Ravi and amazing and scary and amazing. Ali said, you need to meet Del. Oh. Ah, uh, you guys! Well, my stream is what it is, because you're here. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> Ali knows a lot of people. Well, I'm glad that you started streaming, Ravi, because you do a really good job of it. I am really liking this building. Doing... Oh, you guys are just being too kind to each other and it's making me want to cry. Someone could be sassy, please. No. <laughs> no. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. An oasis of goodness. Yeah, I I am loving this room. An oasis of goodness with a sw a slight hint of coffee fart. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. 
I I kind of I wanted to try and make it like minimal. I don't know. It's not really, but like possible minimal impact. I think I may have to do stairs there just to often that. Um. Ooh. You've done so well with that echo. I think. Oh, oh. This needs to be this material. Here. Not that you can tell, but that has to be that. Well, shit, I wasn't sure if I was up to streaming today, and now you've all gone and made me feel warm fuzzy. And stuff. <coughs> I mean, I guess the lit brigade. I love that. All right. Well, don't fall in, Ravi. Um. Do I want a window there? <sighs> Please don't fall on my head. What? Oh, that's sand. I don't want no stinking sand. What's bull bits? <gasps> I didn't bring my hammer and chisel with me. Okay, have a good luck. Enjoy your food. Not sure if I like this. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, that works. Oh, I could use a steer in there too. Oh, no, because it's a... Nope.
Okay, I can get out this way. <gasps> yes? Thank you for sharing, wine. Oh, I love it. That is a statement truck. Love the colors as well. Very nice. Why is it not? Oh. French toast. Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo-doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint licker? Pickle you, come cross! You're overreacting. No, Bill, overreacting was when I put your convertible into a wood chipper. Stinky McStink face! You hoboken. Fabulous! New orbit raspberry okay. mint paint in a dirty map. <laughs> you hoboken! Yeah, never, never seen that before. Okay. very well done though like super well done why no why am i doing this this isn't what i want i don't know if that's what i want I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I'm not familiar with that show. <clears throat> well, not the American version of it. Oh, whoops. Okay, so who's going to make crumpets and send me pictures? These are important questions. Crumpets always sound good. Oh man, I hate that so much. <laughs> I'm mildly peckish. What is this? Oh. Alia patch incoming tomorrow, apparently, for those of you who play. Still? Oh, that's the worst. Right, now I have to have a cake. Oh, I still have two left. I thought I only had one left. We got them on closeout. Oh, really good. My treat. I'm still self medicating on treats. Okay, what do I need? What? What do I need? I did not mean to make ten doors, but sure.
Wait, whatever. I'm sure they'll get used. An adorable situation, yes. Hydrate and stretch. Does eating a cake count as stretching? Asking for a friend? Me? I'm asking. There's no tidy way to eat these cakes. That's a good idea. Why can't I make that open inwards on that side? That sounds like a really good idea. Okay, so I need... I'm definitely liking where this is going. I really like the birch with the, uh, the cobblestone. I need a hammer and chisel. It's funny because last last time I was like, do I want to build modern or build a hobbit hole? It really does. I don't normally like it either. But it, it does work in this context. I even don't mind the um the the black framing on the windows. I'm probably gonna change these to be not change these but put birch windows down here i don't like the birch in game but i do tend to prefer blonde woods over the darker ones thank you boo hi mel All right, so I need to hammer and chisel. Also, also, yay! Thank you, everyone, for coming in and putting points on there. Brad, only seven k. Jesus, you guys have blasted through it this month. Braggy. Craig, thank you for that raid. Welcome in, everyone. I hope you had fun playing ETS. <laughs> right? So cringe. Um, welcome in. Everyone who came over with Frag. Hello. Hi. I'm Del. Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. I am currently running in the dark. In Vintage Story. When I'm not playing Vintage Story, I am dreaming about Vintage Story. But I can play other games. Wait, did you just finish it? No, it's so, it's so bloody close. 
It was peaceful. Ah, oh. oh well, there's always next time. Um, but yeah, I hope you had a fun stream. I know it's late for you, so if you need to like take off for like our stream beer and unwind, then then please don't let me hold you. But you know you're welcome to hang out too. Yeah, we are we are so putting the co cost of the uh, the Big Brother bonus stream up. It's not that I don't enjoy it, but I I didn't expect. Yes, I didn't expect the uh, the uptake on that to be protest riot. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't expect it to be like that again. I expected the first to come through really fast, but not the second. Yeah, like it finished early last time, but only by a few days. But this time you've all blasted through it in like a week, <laughs> just over a week. I'm not, I'm not doing a bonus stream every week. It's fun, but it takes a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not doing it every week. Ooh, lightning. So yeah, we might, or I can just let it finish. <gasps> the olives are ready. Oh god, it's so hard to find a good pavement for Animal Crossing. I feel you there. Um, or I could just not start it until like the next one, or you know, until the next month. Olives. Oh, no, it's not ripe yet. I was like, why can't I harvest it? No, no. Pavement does not equal sidewalk? I'm confused. Please don't zap me with lightning. No, and also don't eat the olives. What the fuck am I going to do with all these olives? I think it's a, I think it is a language thing. Like to me, pavement is like footpath, sidewalk, pedestrian walking space area. Still 21 days for that one. I guess it's just going to be a lot of olive oil. It is. It is. As long as the ideas get across. Doesn't matter what words you use, really. Yes. We don't like boring gray squares. Texture and depth. 
All right, how much olive oil have we got? A lot. Oh God. Oh, boo. What? I don't know what to do with these olives. I have pickled olives and I don't know what to do with them. I guess I'm just going to make some more olive oil. What do I use olive oil for? Peanut butter, I guess. No, you can't. Actually, olive oil doesn't work for the lamps. It's got to be I use flax oil for the lamps. For some reason, olive oil doesn't work. No why. Very strange. Oh. Sunflower. Sunflower. Salads and dressings. Is that a thing? It could be. Olive salad with olive oil and pickled olives. Oh god, that would be so salty. Oh god. Salad. It's that decorative shit they put on the side of dinners to make it look fancy. You know, the rabbit food. Are you trying to make me tilt my head and look at chat upside down? Hey, you finished it. I am so proud of that alert, by the way. You finished it. Well, shit. <sighs> Thank you. We're gonna do it next week. There is no better story, only Sims. We'll do it next Wednesday. I'm not doing it tomorrow. Damn it. Oh, Santa. We, we had such fun times together. No, I'm not, I'm not, no. No. Wait, where did all that olive oil go? Oh, it's right there, for fuck's sake. How is that lazy toast? You're making food, you're feeding yourself, it's not lazy. I feel like we're not, it's just not quite sinking up here. <laughs> but you see, we had, we, we had a, a few years back, I did a Stardew challenge in The Sims challenge thing, a Stardew theme. So I started off with like a little house that looks like the starter house in Stardew. And the idea was to not, to only make money from things on the plot. Um, 
But I got a bit bored, so we decided to uh, hook up with Santa, as you do. Yeah, um, but the, the fun part was that my sim uh, is evil. Uh, well, my sim was evil and Santa by nature is good. Um, and so there were a few, uh, you know, conflicts of things. And uh, we had a child who had a habit of setting things on fire. <sighs> that was weird. I feel like this is like all out of whack now. Like release us, it is. <sighs> now the screw. Now this won't go down unless I press on it. What is going on? Do I need to restart the aim? That one doesn't even exist. Something, something ain't right. Oh, yuck. Drop the whole server. I gotta do with all this olive oil. No, that's what I would. Here. I think that's gonna be enough. You know what? I fixed it. Oh, I'm gonna brine those. Oh no! Ugh. Um. Yeah, we. It was actually a pretty entertaining playthrough. So I sort of. I deliberately tried to follow the Stardew thing. So, you know, we started off with $500 or what have you. Um, we also attempted to uh, assassinate Santa. Um, by drowning him in a pool. However, um, it didn't really work because um, he just floated. Then I can't die. So he would get exhausted and uh, my, my Sim and her kid, Santa's child, would just sit there and like stare at Santa floating around in this glass-sided swimming pool at a picnic table watching him forever nearly die. No. Grey ash. Oh, I swear some wind. It 
it was it was entertaining he did he just kept swimming forever he just like bobbed about in the pool like a, a poo a high fat poo just yeah Um, okay, we're just going to pop you in the air. But yeah, normally if I'm playing The Sims for myself, I get, I normally get absorbed in just the building, which, you know, I'm sure you're all very surprised by. Um, so I was trying to think of ways to get me interested in uh, actually playing with the sims rather than just building and it was I mean it was fun but then Santa wouldn't die so I even had to take away the chimney it was it was a bit dark I really ought to take some lanterns out there uh, because uh, Santa is uh, traditionally known to enter and exit buildings through a chimney. Yes, we did. Um, so it'll be next Wednesday or next Thursday, depending on <laughs> uh, depending on the date that the summer house key is released to me uh i remember what it was but yeah next week hey who did that echo echo Echo, I just saw my email. Thank you. This time, um, only got me a game of my Steam wish list, which is, you know, thank Thanks. I know Planet Crafter. Let's see if that summons beard. <laughs> Thank you. I've been wanting to play that for ages. It's been on my wish list for like two years. And I I asked Flint for it. And his response was Yes, I knew that would summon him. Uh, I asked Flint for it, and his response was, have you asked a developer for it, for a key? I'm like... Mm -hmm. So excited! So, uh... Yes! Right? It's like... Keywords that will summon Beard for out of a lurk. Well, yeah, but I don't have Steam actively open, so I just happened to glance over my emails and saw it. Um, I was looking to see what the date was for uh <laughs> Steam's like, it's been added to your account. Do you want to play it now? Do you want to play it? Like now? How about now? How about now? N now? Well, I guess not. All right, so I was checking for the date for 
Oh, I also have a cute game key for a game called Preserve dropping. Um, but I can't do that before the fifth. So Tuesday. Oh shit! Next week is going to be full on. Preserve looks really, really cute. I'm looking forward to trying it. This is going to be a super chill game. We got that, and then Summer House. Uh, which is embargoed on the 8th of March. So that's next Friday. Yeah. So we're going to have a few indie games next week by the look of it. And also I'm keeping the recipe for crumpets up there. Um. So I'm gonna eat these. Um, but yeah, preserve looks really good too. Um, that's when I'm getting through stream B. Why are you still fruiting? Stop! I can't. I can't reach them all. Okay, it's fine. All right, hammer and chisel is what I needed, right? Hammer and chisel. Um. <sighs> I feel like making a lantern out of meteoric iron is perhaps a little bit. Overkill. You made 10? Yeah, but Stu, you're just like, I don't know, legendary. It's just, that's what the material is that I have. I suppose it's still only two ingots per, right? I feel like it ought to have more light though. You're making nails and strips out of steel. Jeez. Alright. Well, the, like, I don't have iron iron here. I only have meteoric iron. Um. I don't even have a help hammer. It's pretty cozy. Uh, yeah, so this this area where I am is just like scattered with meteors, but I couldn't find iron. I'm like, well, so I gathered up enough ground scraps. Um, and like traipsed fucking hours up to friend Toast's place so I could use their anvil. <laughs> and make myself tools so that I could process all this meteoric iron. So I kind of went from flint briefly to copper, then just straight to meteoric iron. It's still snowing. That's bullshit. You should lod lodge a formal complaint. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Shaking, shaking fist at clouds is always uh, a good option. Oh god, I miss a health hammer. I could make, I, I have everything I need to make a health hammer right now. 
I'm just still in that mindset of, oh, everything here is temporary. And so therefore I shouldn't make it yet, which is dumb because I could just like make it, use it, and then move it to the new place when I need to. Or keep it here where it can be noisy and I don't care. Are we gonna be... What? Oh, there we go. So weird. I guess I'm at the wrong angle. Oh no, I want another cake. Hey Westie, have you got a Ponson Ponsonby Pies place near you? Or failing that a star mart? No, nah. not even star map pies. Oh, you cock. <sighs> Miss a good mince and cheese pie. Oh, you cooled down too much. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I mean, it's been a pretty fucking long time since I was there last, so it doesn't surprise me really. make I found a recipe from the Otago Daily Times that had a, 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 a mince and cheese pie recipe and it was pretty good and it used Marmite but it's not the same why are you doing that it was like an old newspaper article I have this thing where I, I I grovel for kiwis to eat delicious kiwi food because I miss it so I'll be like can you eat a pie for me and have some LMP Fuck! Why are you doing this?
go. Thank you for gifting us up to not wasty. Wasty, enjoy your beamotes. Courtesy of Echo Friend. Thank you. You've been spoiling me. Urgh. It's too cold to work. Urgh. I knew that was going to happen. I'm too slow. All the kiwis, yes. I can live vicariously through delicious r reminiscences. You just understood the mechanics? Oh, of like moving the little squares in place? It's interesting. It's a very interesting mechanic. It's also... Like, after the first couple of times, you're like, yeah. This isn't something that really needs to get done manually very often, though. Thankfully. I don't know if this is input lag. But it's driving me fucking nuts. <gasps> Amelia! Posting a picture of mammoth lasagna. Yes. Please. Now I want lasagna. <sighs> I could probably deal with that myself. I'm a problem solver. And I would help you with that because that's... Uh, Something that I'm willing to do for friends, you know? Is eat a giant thing of lasagna. Your, your kids are hilarious. Alright, how do I do this again? Hey! Oh, light level 16. Like what? Is there a difference between using quartz or buff? Wouldn't have thought so. Oh, there is. Okay. I feel like there is there is a similarity though in terms of like glasses and the hair and like face shape and the lipstick. Okay. Oh, whoops. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah. A real sharp as as uh, attack. Wait, is it this one? There. 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 Perfect. I really like how the Meteoric Iron has like an iridescence. It's, it's very shiny. Alright. Oh, it's high. Oh, but it's two o'clock. It's fine. What I need to do is get some of the bismuth that's nearby and make a, a, a bismuth one, because those are super pretty. Having another cake. It's my last one, so it's lonely. I found some somewhere. Nearby. I think I found some underwater. Hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Hmm, here we go. You <laughs> see for the... <clears throat> the stone paths. Hmm. You get a little, um, you get a speed buff. Yeah, once it gets used and put into stone path, the material doesn't make any difference. All stone is the same. My coffee is broken. Yeah. It's very greedy on materials. I really love the texture of it with like the, the sort of mossy um, appearance. Bacon and hash browns breakfast for dinner. That sounds really good, Toast. I went through through a stage in my early 20s when I managed somehow to pretty much exist solely, well not solely, um, I survived on cigarettes, hash browns with barbecue sauce, and beer. Oh, those were the days.
That is true. Cigarettes, Sobe and Sobe and Skittles. Yeah, me too. No SD, especially when I was working still in hospo. When I was managing bars, Siggies and Red Bull were breakfast and lunch. <sighs> I don't I don't particularly like that there. It should do it for this room, right? It's still gonna be a bit dark in here. Three monsters a day. Woo! Oh no, now I want Waffle House. Uh... Ash Browns. It's funny what the body does when you put stuff like that in it. Well, I'm glad It's like this is this is look li listen up. This is how you do it. We we don't often go to the Waffle House because ours is you know well I think it's more indicative of where we live. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, just give it three right. It's it's a lot. I don't know how much storage space I need. What? Did you have waffles? <laughs> oh yeah, co coffee with hot cocoa is a win. We don't have that here. So this is storage. And then we want this to go ah a level. Oh, has this all... No, no, this hasn't been tagged. I have to go get some ice cream now. Oh, oh god, that scared me. Fucking hate that. <clears throat> I didn't tag that one. It's, it's just like, oh god. I'm sorry, I don't mean to give you a heart attack. I, oh, I am. Thank you. 
I didn't. Yet. Oh, I should have bought some clay out so I could make some cobblestone stairs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yet. Do I want to? Hmm. I have never, in fact, you're right. I had, I had a blueprint for it. I just never got around to making it. I was so like fixated on, on building. That it just never happened. Like this is tempting fate, you know. Looking straight up. All right, let's go get some birch blocks. Okay, so the idea is this is going to be a storage room, so it probably needs to be a longer, longer, and then that will lead up. I can. Up to this level. I don't know if it'll work from here. Yeah, I need some clay to make some stairs. Oh, well. Or I could just make birch stairs. I've got plenty of birch. Okay, shoot. Uh, they do but you've got to make sure you've got them in the right place so uh, 
Um, it would work as an insulating block, I believe, if it was like in the inside half of this, but maybe not on the outside half. That makes sense? I think? I could be wrong, so please correct me. Um, but no, glass, glass d does work. In fact, you need uh, glass to do like a greenhouse. Um, chiseling can take away some of the functionality as well. If you have too much, too many blocks in a room chiseled, it won't be considered. Um, closed. Interesting. I don't know why they wouldn't work. Yeah, that's that sounds like a good way of dealing with it. Oh, actually that wasn't what I meant to do, but that's interesting. interior face it yeah that's what I th I thought I mean, the great thing is, if you ask questions and I don't know the answer, then I get to learn too. Ow. Which, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Nah. Nah, you get used to it eventually. You just start bouncing. I may end up moving that back further. Yeah, you just get used to it eventually. Exactly. I think we gotta change the angle of that to I like that. I think it makes more sense. is to go up from there.
I think we need to take this wool back at least one more. Hello! Hey, Flav! Thank you. I do need to do that. Oh, we need to think about... Oh, I like how I say we. I haven't figured out... Uh, oh god, there's cheese balls everywhere. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for... I'm not doing full-on themes again this year. It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do for the next month. Then we're just gonna like. I need to expand the basic stuff. Maybe I need to do some art streams and learn how to make my own emotes. I know what I want, and I'm not prepared to pay for it. <laughs> Which is, you know, great. Hey. Not helpful. Hey. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if I can learn how to do what I want, then it saves hassle, right? Oh, I just had another thought. Very interesting. I think I might put shelving under there. Okay, so this is supposed to be storage. But yeah, there's, we've got so many emote slots now. Um, and I, I want to kind of have a... Like, I'm not getting rid of the bee. I feel like we would have riots if I got rid of the bee. Who <laughs> this music? Um... But I kind of, I want to have uh, like some chibi type emotes. Yeah, no, I won't do that to you. So with, you know, like wave and like this is standard sort of ones that, that some sort of streamers have. Waving and hello and, and lurk and goodbye and stuff. And because at the moment I've got a few different styles. And it, it irks me that there's no consistency. One must have consistency. Yes, yeah. It, it, Exactly. That is that is true. That is that is very true. I have like a little bit of consistency, so it's been nice ignoring you. Really? Really? <sighs> I guess it would be silly to ban my bot for terrible jokes. 
It says happy birthday. No, I'm just hearing the occasional bar of music and it's not landing right. All right, I like this. I'm liking that. I'm actually really liking that. Even though it's just a square room, I like it. <laughs> um, so this is storage. Can always extend that way or like backwards into either wall if I need to. I don't have much storage right now. I've only got a few chairs. Um, hello? Name, please. Okay, we're gonna get rid of... Get rid of those. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put them back. I don't know what it's doing right now. Should I use all the again? Oh. You know, the nice thing is here, this flat area goes back quite a far, far way, so it's kind of supported. Yes, I am immensely. So I th feel like what we're going to do here. I mean, the stability is, you know. Oh, that block is too unstable. Interesting. You can't do that to... have ideas. Doors are tricky, okay? Every game's got a different way to open doors. Every game. Like, what's up with that? All of these are... Uh, yes. This is gonna be bad. Thanks, game! It's real helpful. Oh, stop it. Now you're just showing off.
right? Look, it filled up my downstairs area too. At least these don't take damage down here. <laughs> it makes total sense. See, so, you now I'm going to have to take out all these because they're cracked. God damn it. It's fine. I'm good. We're fine. So, this is going to be my kitchen. <sighs> yeah, yeah, just like a, a little bit of a filler. And uh, some paint. I mean, you don't even need filler. If you just like paint over it enough times, it eventually just fills in. Yeah, but you can do the same for car repairs too. You just like my my mates would would do it when they were like trying to fill in dents for the Warren of Fitness. You just put like filings on the bog and then fill it up, and then when they run the magnet over to make sure everything's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's not, but they seem to think it would be. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Like, no, I'm gonna go on sideways it's a very full room It goes like, Del, I know how you work. Oh, hey. I don't have any more glass blocks out here. I do. But yes, glass. Glass wall. So, so we come up here from storage. Uh, it's going to go further this way. This is going to be kitchen. We're looking. I don't know. Whatever that is. My nice deck. And then carrying back that way will be to, I don't know, some other space. Yeah, like a little garden. I'm going to put apple tree there, I think. I know apple trees won't fruit here it's too hot but I think it'll look pretty to have like a little you know little nice deck garden you can sit out here and admire the world
Yes. Very much. Please don't fall on me. Let's put these down here. Okay. Let's uh, smash these. I'll smash. I made a lot of birch boards, huh? It's like, man, now I've got the building bug again. have anything in here. Uh, yeah, chalk stone. So I need, what do I need? Glass. It almost looks like it's been flooded. It's because it's so like low to the water. Honestly, at this point, I could almost start bringing things over. I still need to do my windmill though. And I'm still kind of fixated on the idea of doing a windmill on top of a tree. Need to harvest some of these vines. Well, you can't really see it from here, can you? I somehow had the idea of trying to make like a house with like with with the local materials, sourcing local materials, like with the chalk. That wouldn't stand out, which is tricky because everything is green. And the chalk really does stand out. Clay. I need clay as well. <clears throat> Just gonna eat these. Glass and clay. I get some lead too, so I can make some birch frame windows. I really like the idea of using the birch windows as like fencing. Glass clay and lead. And a partridge in a pear tree. I do have chickens written on my to-do list in, inside the house. 
Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Ego. Um, so this would be a great time to stand up and stretch. Uh, I am going to stand up and stretch because I have not moved enough today. Um, so as soon as I get back to my little house, um, I'm going to take a break. Uh, great time for you all to stand up, have a drink, go for a wee, have a poo as well if you want. I mean, I'm not, I'm not your mum. Um, you know, pet the dog. Whatever you want to do, and I will see you in a few minutes. I'm still waffling. People who are listening to this message probably can't even hear me anymore. Yes, I am going to stand up and move because I don't think I've had a break yet to the stream. Alright, I'll be right back. I mean, if you can do that in two and a half minutes, have at. I don't want to hear about the report, though. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with Echo. You'll notice I went up and took a break. <sighs> okay. It, yeah, you do. It's very strong. All right, glass, glass, and what? And now I'm clay. I'm looking at your list now. Clay and lead. All right. 
uh, do I want to mace with it right now? Do I have any? Oh, I haven't, I haven't got any mind. Ooh, got some of those though. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, Dal. Oh. Oh, no, I, that's right. I knew that was going to be there. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I've got enough here. Yeah, five candles. So if I have the desire, I can make five more land. <laughs> It was, wasn't it cute? Kind of made me sad that it went away. I think these are all glass, actually. Yeah, I set this up the other day. I mean, you could, but you need to take care of your back. Um. Four. Five. I did. That's very clever, right? Good job. Oh my god, that's terrible. Jesus. All right, where's um, here? <laughs> it's so cruel. I feel like it's not clear what I'm supposed to do this way. Stop doing that, please. It totally counts. Where do my charcoal go? Oh, I didn't realize it went down down further. All right. I love my charcoal pit.
Let's yeah, so get these going. Oh, fuck, I just realized it's only Thursday, right? Last play. I need the lead just yet. I'm all out of partridges. Now I've got to try and figure out how to get Planet Crafter in. I don't know if anyone remembers a couple of weeks ago, I was saying this is the time of year where everything breaks. And I'm sure some of you were like, no. It is. It, it yeah, it fucking is. Dog, washing machine. Earbuds, monitor, Xbox controller, <laughs> all in the last week and a half. Plumbing. It's, I don't know what it is about this time of year. It's, I, it's, uh. Why don't I bring those out? I don't need those. I'm still not like super fast about uh Um, uh, the black lines in the windows, but I feel like it works as a contrast. Okay. I don't know how I want... Dark mud bro. That sounds really pretty though. I was going to make that entirely. Um. Uh. 
highly class, but I think it's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds good. I want to. I want to. I want to see it. This will be like, you know, like in the last kitchen, this is like the wall with like the sink. So I can stand there and like look outside. Kind of wanted kind of wanted to have a doorway leading out here. I suppose I can still. It just is going to like lead right into the <laughs> into the bamboo. There's no safety barrier. I could move this wall out further. Made more peanut sauce. I may have to start doing that. I could do that. Bring this wall so it sticks out one more. have to go raid some more ruins I think
funny thing is now I've got this weird brick. Floor. Once I put the I'm gonna have this weird brick section of flooring. So I suppose I could chisel it and just replace the top half with wood. but not in front of um in front of the window like in a where the ovens are but not in front of the window that'll probably be the easiest actually Can I... Can I do this? No, it's okay. Whoopsie. I can't just... Yeah, no, of course not.
All right, that works. Um, two. It's not cool. These will be I mean, that's a tight squeeze outside, but I think that'll be okay. And chiseling is so cool. I'm not, I'm not super, not digging that a lot. Outside, I don't really care about right now. I guess that's okay. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Well, I mean, there's doors with windows kind of in them, but it's not really the same. Okay, two spaces better.
more window. Give me a very, very close eye on that. Wait, the rift meter. I knew that was going to happen. sake slaps Oh, I think I may have accidentally made one wonky. Yee! Oh, I don't even know. What what were we doing last month? Last year for March? Was last year's March uh Was that was that craft month? Remember. Hmm. <clears throat> I was like, check my dark. Check, check my planner. Yeah, March was craft month. Um. So my friend is hosting uh, this through G Portal. I believe it's through G Portal. Um, <laughs> St. Pat Bee's Day, very good plum. There has been a lot of rain this stream, and yet it's still less rainy than if I'd stayed in my other location. I don't know why they've got to be so contrary here. Here. Do we have more? Oh, interesting. Well, I'm sorry you're dealing with that. That's no fun. I mean, our server uh, has some stability issues. Um, it gets restarted twice a day now, and it still hiccups a fair amount.
Well, hey, you found something that you're enjoying as an alternative that works out really well. Yes. Also, I think part of it, Apprentice, is that it's spring right now and I'm in the tropics. So that could be it too. some more half block. Oh, damn it. original place where I was going to build uh, was in a redwood forest but it was so fucking rainy it was ridiculous it was it was too much how just putting like a little bit of a, a cover over there makes a difference. is this room I unintentionally like hated this one two four five six eight nine nine four five six seven you know what that's fine Yes, that's totally what I wanted. Thank you for that.
So I think like this, this area here would be great for oven. We still have to figure out entry as well. So I could, oh, maybe this would be a better wall than the oven. So they would be like kitchen counter, kitchen counter, and uh, appliances and entry into pantry. I don't know how much I've got here. Not a lot, but we can add that out. large though isn't it let's just pop these down so counter counter okay like inset stuff doing on relation to where the tree is pretty good actually it isn't it it's so pretty Yes, ma'am. Hello. That's okay. I appreciate anyone who, who hangs out here, no matter how much time or, you know, just the fact that you're willing to stop and say hello is pretty fucking. Yeah, it's not what I usually build, but I'm enjoying it. So, counters. Hmm. 
Oh, I do have a door here. All right. Trying to decide. Where I want to put the ovens. I did I, oh, I did pick some up. Okay. Um we won. Survival. Is it? All of a sudden, it's not so small. Survival mode. Get away with that growing shit in my kitchen. Look at that. Wait a minute. Alright, well, as far as I'm concerned, they don't really bump this back further. That's Peter. All right, so now we come along here. to do some some sculpting of uh dirt on the outside of these walls That's fine.
kind of like carving into a hillside here. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's kind of what made me want to build here. It was just like this this view over lag uh, the lagoon. Thank you for putting the shovel in my face. That's that's very helpful. So in my head, I feel like the lagoon is more enclosed, like, whereas a bay is kind of more open. I don't know if that's what it is, what the definition is, but... <laughs> but on, I mean, this is more of a lake than anything else, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a lake, but uh, I like to call it a lagoon. Feels fancy calling it a lagoon. So this wall has to come out. Hey, having a fact having a couple of fact checkers on stream is very useful. Oh really? I did not. That is interesting. Oh, oh is this the tree? No, that isn't the tree. Wait, is this No, that's not the tree. Right. Ah! Let me in! Is it Littleton? That's a very good point. Well, I mean, it was right there. And you know what? There's, there's nothing wrong with closing the door after yourself. It's good practice. Oh, whoops. Hi, Pura. Oh, yeah. Bamboo, you gotta go. You gotta go. Am I being too generous with space? Like I loved my last kitchen, but it was it was so cramped.
Um, is it your mom? That's all I got. I mean, I was going to say mine, but it came out yours. It should have been mine. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be mine. Child survived. Fair enough, this is what I want to do. I still have room for a space up here. Who let who let Dell out today? Fucking seriously. This this tree is driving me nuts. I don't want to chop it down, but also it's in the fucking way. not what I want to take on at all. <laughs> so I want to replicate the the powered stuff that I've got at the other place which I can I can do here I mean, that's not a problem. Do that there I still need to set up a pantry and decide where I want to put ovens. So I could put the pantry behind the oven. Stretch, but echo building. Stretching, moving, you should do it too, or Echo will make mean sounds. I'll be right back.
Wait, what did I miss? Can't move cat and arms. Alright, that's better. So the plan is We're gonna make a windmill. Ah on top of this tree. And then I'm gonna have all the mechanism mechanisms um, like I do at the other place back here. There. Because I can always just like add dirt to the outside of this hill to to make it fit but this tree is going to have to go before i do that i'm going to cut the vines off because i fucking love these vines It feels like a very strange way. Okay. To be building a house. Just like gradually carving a hole. <laughs> Having out a mountain. Yeah, I guess my last one was like repurposed from an existing ruin. Let's just, uh... Ah, lovely! Yes! See, this this whole thing is because of a house that I stayed in one time, and it had a view like this, not over water, but over forest, but one of the entire walls uh, was just a glass window so you could lie in bed and just watch these massive fucking thunderstorms and I, I loved it so much oh, I should just put these in storage you and them them
Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, this is what I wanted. Ah, stop it. Has to go back more. I don't like that. I don't like that there. It's better. The nice thing is, once you, like, surround something with dirt, it just kind of overgrows by itself. Do I need that block? I don't really need that one. So, we're looking at... Do that. Get the right doors in, so I know what I'm doing.
So that is to the power for these machines that are going to be here. And this is going to be the pantry. I'm still not liking how close it is to the store. What is woe? Oh shit. That's a steal. Did I ever play the sequel? I don't I don't know if I did. No, I have the complete edition of Horizon Zero Dawn. So that's what I, that was what I was playing when you joined, right? Oh, Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition is coming to PC on March. Did I finish it? I don't... I played it for 40 something hours. I only got half the achievements. Last played January 27, 2022. ISTG What? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what? Count abbreviations one. Thank you for translating. I don't know if I finished Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I got... I know when I finished I was ready to finish. I didn't do a lot of the side quests. I don't know if I finished the main story or not. I may have to look it up and find out. Ended the war machine three. Maybe I did. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Jarman must have rough, rough connection. Women's Day sale starts tomorrow. That's cool. The 
Fabiano's here. Ovens. Just have it. It's fine. Whoopsie. Hey, Scotty. Hello. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, that's totally what I wanted. Thank you, game. These are insulating walls, yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh. that's broken, Chopra. That's fine. Oh, it's unstable. After placing. So we have like kitchen counters, and then we'll put the mixing bowl and the the quad in here. All right. Open that up a bit. And then, so through these doors will be the switches for these. And this will be pantry. Do I need a bigger table? There, that's better. We've got two block walking space around everything a door to the outside garden area as yet unhaunted ovens the playlist finish no it's just really quiet
so from here, what we're going to do is this. Oh no, Stu. I put all there. I don't know where that's going, but that's going to go somewhere. Except I want the door there. What if I do this? And that candle light's pretty. And I think we're gonna bring, we are gonna put a, a space this way that looks over these fans. With more glass? I have to see what it looks like during the day. And then maybe more space up. You can. Whoa, Jesus. I think. Just as I can. You are just the perfect amount of everything.
Alright, so not there. Oh, actually, yes, they are. All right. Have fun. Enjoy doing your dishes. No, you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that's a stair. Okay, that's fine. Ugh. Uh... Alright, so now I need to make some more steer. Oh god. More staircases. Keep <laughs> on getting bounced up the top. Can I... Ah! Stop it! Oh shit. Alright, I guess I need to go back to base. A bit chunky at this side but that all get covered up
Oh dear. On my path. All right, so the original inspiration I had for that house is not even close to what is happening. Um, but that's... <sighs> that's okay. Honestly, I'm trying to decide... Whoa, the lightning. I decided at what point do I just start moving stuff over there? I can enclose the end and get more lights on there. It's probably fine. It's just that I don't have the fruit trees and stuff there yet. For garden, but I can always run down here if I need to. Soma's playing Sims? What? The number of people who have been like tinkering with the Sims 4 since we kicked off the um... <laughs> Okay, have good sleep Molly. Thank you for the lurks. Hope you have I wind up with sleep and wake up feeling refreshed and full of vim and vigor. Oh, <gasps> one of my orange trees is fruiting. Really? More, more mangoes? I wish they would all flower and fruit at the same time. But by the same token, it's nice that there's a bit of variation. I'm just going to eat these. Six days, eight days. Six days. I'm sure I'm going to have enough weight to do another six days. Oh, I still have some candy. Okay, so... to see what the elevation of that tree was. Ladders. Need to take ladders. Have I got any? Yeah, that should do it. I don't know how high this one will is. I don't have the full bonus. It doesn't go up to 170 something.
154. I don't know why I'm so fixated on putting a windmill at the top of a tree. I feel like that's... I, well, I guess it's not really a big job. And even like setting up, hey, now that I've got all the uh, the gears and shit, a bigger deal to set it up. Oh, there is no way that's even vaguely as high. Do I want to put a windmill up there? Or do I want to put it like further back? I feel like if I put the windmill up that tree... Then... It'll be somewhat obscured, I think, while you're here. Probably not, though. Or I can just like build it further back. Like up there, off this hill. How about I get some dirt? And just see how that feels. So I can always just keep the drivetrain to a single small gear and then split it closer to the bottom dirt Excuse you? One sixty. That's pretty fucking high.
it's fine as long as I don't like nudge anything the wrong way. Oh god, I had sticky keys. <sighs> Back off with the Not cool, computer. Good news. I bounced. <sighs> I could have sworn I had that disabled. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. All right, well, we'll just start building from the bottom then. Whatever. Goodness. It's not like I was mashing shift either. It was like slow and steady. I see oh it's really foggy so I wonder if I could see my other one from here it's fine it's totally fine so I can basically have the wind will going to one like a one gear down and then split it into it's gonna take a lot more uh, axles um then i can like split it down here or up above it actually This is Sadie, aka Satterite eighty six. It's Mel. This is a reminder for you to drink some water, eat some food, oh. and be kind to yourself. Yes. Give yourself a break. You deserve. Oh, man, my shoulders are sore. It depends what his motivation is. I just need to stop lifting things that are too heavy for me. Uh, that's not gonna... <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Hang on. What? Okay. What if... It would make more sense. Because if I'm putting the windmill up there, it would make more sense to put the powered stuff like right here. Then have it wrap around the base there. Okay, so that's actually not as painfully obvious as I thought it would be. I mean, admittedly, it's kind of cloudy. But what I could do to some degree is mask it with like berry bushes and vines you know how you get like the the telephone masks that they like dress up to look like trees so birds will nest in them will be saving here. I'll be right back. Check on madam. Getting an awful lot of lightning strikes out here. Yeah, I think it would make more sense to put the fireplace here. And then the powertrain for the, the automated stuff right here.
it, it feels kind of weird to just have this like massive open room here. So, two, three, so if we do... Here. I don't even know what I'm doing up here. I guess we'll just do a rooftop garden. space for four ovens kind of want that to yeah i want it to be like an, a bit of an apron there Oh shit. Uh... Oh, no, look, that doesn't even line up with the with the table. will not allow no 
Okay, that's fine. Here. I don't really have enough space. Okay. Bring that. Um, it depends. There's ways that you can, like, things that you can do to sort of mitigate fall damage. Um, but a lot of it's kind of luck. Um, like, bouncing, like, trying to, like, immediately jump when you know that you're about to land can sometimes help. Or uh, sometimes if you like if you're falling a great distance, if you try and like face plant into a wall, you can kind of convince it to not punish you. Sometimes. Let's just put hey, that's right there. I'm gonna put that there just to remind me that that's what that is.
it's 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 very dependent on I did that. But this will be. Mixing bowl and grinder. And it'll be where the switches are. And the power for those is coming from underneath. Not sure. Could you stop doing that, please? Then maybe put entry there. I can make that as big as I want back there. I'm trying to sort of recreate elements of the last kitchen that we had. Nope. 
So, base for clutter. Ovens. Oh, actually. That for the back. Oh. I need space for ovens and uh Alright Flam. I appreciate it, thank you. Ovens and then cauldrons. Maybe we'll see. Change it if I need to. Have a good sleep. <sighs> Cobblestone. I don't think there's space over here. Gonna end up with gremlins under the floor there. No, oh, it's. Oh no, that's not the power tree, is it? No, it's not. Oh lord. This is a vibe change. And everything's just fine. Oh god. <laughs> I almost wonder if this might not look better.
Is that it? That game's like, and same. Playlist. So I can actually slim that down. I think I need to be leery of adding too much detail because I need to to get the hour stuff set up first. Good news is it's daylight. I'm liking where this is going though. It's it's bright and cheerful. This is going to be a room as well. This is going to be bedroom, I think. check on I don't know how long it's been since I yeah it's a really lovely view I'm still undecided about that the windmill I reckon to some degree I can probably replicate using dirt blocks and berry bushes and then maybe some trees. I can probably try and replicate a giant tree for at least part of that. This is, this is totally not what I had in mind. Not, e not even close. Jeez, from here you can't even see it. Except for, well that's all going to be covered with dirt as well. Um... 1044. The server's probably due to crash soon. It's pretty low profile considering it's made out of glaring white star. Okay, it, that stands out a bit more at this distance. It, it stands out a lot <laughs> at this distance. Look, I could just turn the view distance down and we'd never know. I feel like maybe the windmill tree 
is a <laughs> I can still see it. Okay, there we go. Uh, it is maybe a project for another stream. Like, here's my current windmill. I reckon I can clad it to look like a tree. With it being that high up, I think as long as I use high fertility soil and berry bushes and vines, I reckon I can do it. And then, like, Acacia or Kapok um, logs as their bases. <sighs> oh, now two of my orange trees are flowering. Why are the fruit trees so stressful? My redwood tree. The orange blossoms are so pretty though. Yeah, it's like, ugh, they're really pretty, but oh my god, it's so stressful. Like, making sure I'm around to harvest the fruit. And it always seems to be like, in time with when I'm like, okay, in four days, I'm. <laughs> but I want to log off. I'm tired. <laughs> Ripe in four days. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, it's just like because every time I log in, it's a different month. So I know if I don't gather them when they get ripe. Want to turn up the heat? Hi, Pyro. I know if I don't gather them before I go, then. I'm gonna lose them, which is fine. Like, I don't desperately need the need it. It's fine. I really hope you're well today. Well, I guess work's been kicking your butt. Well, that's not fair. Do you, do you need me to call up and be like, Dear sir, Pyro is tired. Please stop making him work, but keep paying him, please. Dear Mr. R. Please let Mr. R have uh, some time off and find some dodgy form of income. The end. I am so fucking smooth. You would, it, it's amazing. Really. It's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all the rage or something. I don't know what I'm doing. This is this is my old place that I just kind of found and uh, modified to suit 
Oh, I need to bake some food. Butter. It would. It would be lovely if they would work down here. Um, I'm in the process of uh, actually building a new place. Hey. There. We've got automation. It's a bit slow right now because it's not super windy. This is what I need to recreate at the other place. It, it looks more complicated than it is. Trust, trust me. It's basically like, no, no, there's no way I can describe it without it. It, it sounds more complicated and looks more complicated than it is. I promise. Well, thank you. I know it can it can get like absolutely bonkers. It's it's going so slow. If if someone could like get just get out and push <laughs> and, and make it go faster, be great. If everyone could just blow and like right if, if if you all do it at the same time it'll make it go faster maybe all right i'm just gonna let that do its thing then um so what i want to do is chop some trees so we've got this we're gonna have a, a big tall windmill at the other place but what i want to do is try and make it almost look like a tree um so i'm gonna try and find it is really pretty here but it's even more pretty at the other place Oh, are these done already? They are. Right. I love how vibrant the greens are. Shiny, shiny. We're waiting on trees to the the fruit on the trees to ripen. I'm waiting on my sunflower candy to hurry up. Quality, epic. Epic. How is it epic all of a sudden? Epic sunflower candy. Oh. Well, apparently I just stacked it with my raw, my not epic stuff and now it's not epic anymore. 
It's a rip AIS. Rear. Wait, so each piece is a different quality? How does this even work? But it's all the same ingredients. Like, I've had uncommon, rare, and epic from one craft. One automated craft with the same peanut butter and the same seeds. I guess. Gaining more experience with each item. Okay. Interesting. Oh, oh, is the wind picking up? I I can do this manually as well. But why have a dog and back himself? I thought the wind was picking up, but it's not. Legendary! This is pretty exciting. Quality base value of 2 and a maximum value of 10. The intensity of the effect depends on the quality of food. You can only have one of these effects at the same time. Forty percent more experience. Hundred percent more survey. Player A positive effect. It's still kind of vague. I'm going to just leave that for now. There's a storm coming in again. What are we doing? 4.4 days. 5.7. 4. 6. Flowering for 4.2 days. They have pretty orange trees. I still don't know what I'm going to do with all, with all of this shit. So much food. My poor little dude is, is just going to have, like, the shits permanently because all he eats is sunflower candy and fruit. So I guess there's protein in the sunflower candy, but, you know, like... <sighs> Too much fruit is not great. 
Can I? I feel like I'm kind of waiting. I forget the server could potentially crash in the next five minutes. Harry, we need to play this together at some point. I don't know if there's a way to just like post it, post a local session, oh, local, post a closed session. But this is, I have to try and figure out how to replicate all of this. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of the same. I just got another game that I was been really been after as well. <laughs> so, um, Eco just got me Planet Crafter today, which I'm really excited about. Between this and then like, got the Sims bonus stream next week and a couple of indie games and then like Nightingale. <sighs> the nice thing is this is this is always it's, it's gonna be it, it's always gonna be there surely with this storm coming in the wind should be picking up Legendary 12.5. Um, so I don't think I want to use. I'm going to have to try and find some K pop trees. Right? These are acacia. So that it just kind of blends in. I don't know that this will work. God, I planted a lot of trees. Well, maybe acacia would be better. This is K-pop here. Well, I can always cut them down and try. What's the worst that could happen? Do I have the shares or did I leave them at the other house? I left them behind. Oh, oh, here we go. Stake a stake of dirt so I can reach the top too. Actually, maybe as well, I could put dirt blocks up top and actually plant some K-pop trees. Okay, please. Ah. I'll put one seed. Oh my god, they're so tall.
That's better. Terraria. That's a that's like one of those games that's like consistently on my list of games that I really ought to try, but never quite get around to. Oh, was there another uh, expansion for WoW? Ah. Just, I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm hungry, righto. Oh, hey, that sounds cool. keep meaning to like uh pop into my friends and Shroud server because they have like all the building materials unlocked it's a crisis I didn't realize how tall this tree was I wish I could get into WoW. Like I had a lot of fun with it, but it just I I couldn't focus on it, and it makes me sad because you know like so many people have a lot of fun with it, and I want to as well. I don't think my brain is programmed for MMOs anymore. I wanna. I super duper wanna. Hey, Oosh. Um, I mean, I don't think it's. It, for me, it's not about whether it's cutting edge or not. I think it's more about feeling like I. I have this weird sense of obligation. I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's that unusual, actually. Um, where with if I'm paying a subscription for a game um, and you know to be honest you can play MMOs free but they almost suck in free to play mode which is their prerogative because they want people to spend money and that's totally fine um, but as soon as it gets to a point where I'm paying just to play a game I, I get this sense of obligation that makes me really uncomfortable and that's a me thing. That's not a, an issue with the game. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't want to be trapped. God. Yeah, actually, Guild Wars 2 does do a fucking good job with that. Um, I really need to vis revisit that, actually, because I, Flint and I played that when it first launched, and we had a lot of fun. Um, and it's it's been a long time since we played last. Ooh. 
oh, I might have enough here. And the fact that it is free to play makes a big difference. I don't know if he has any interest in it, but honestly, my favorite thing was just to run around as, as my little... I don't remember what the races were. Had Silvari and like a little midget, a little warrior midget. And they just made me so happy. Azura, Azura, yeah, 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 that's it. And I really enjoyed playing the Silvari because they're so pretty. Like with all the colors and you know, like messing with the, uh, like the dyes and stuff. I thought it was so well done. We did really well when the game first launched because it had the RMT, like the, the official RMT going on. And so because Flint and I were playing so much, we were able to buy like the cash shop currency and flip it. <laughs> So we did really well at the beginning of the game when it first launched. Didn't get too much into See, I never played Guild Wars 1, but I played... When we started playing Guild Wars 2, uh, we were with a group of people that we'd been... Played other uh, other games with that had, had a history in there. Um, so I think we kind of picked up on a bit of the nostalgia and excitement. Um, but it was such a diff like I, I I remember it feeling really different. So my experience before had been like um EverQuest 2 uh and Final Fantasy eleven I'd played and most recently we'd come from my game called Perfect World, which was just like stereotypical MMO cash shop. And so going into something like Guild Wars 2, which was a lot more loose in structure, was so much fun. Yeah. So we played a lot. I think at the time we had like map completion on done on like three different characters each. And the, I'd make Flint do all my jump puzzles. <laughs> because <laughs> I I sucked at them so much um, but that was before there was flying I think when we played last uh, I can't remember the name of the expansion but it's been a fucking long time since we played last Heart of Thorns is that something? I feel like that was the last expansion like that released just after we stopped playing Yeah, I really liked the the area quests as well. So you weren't constrained. You didn't have to be in a group to achieve anything. But I never did any dungeons or group content. Because uh, I was still very shy of, of interacting with other people. But I just loved exploring. I still don't do it. <laughs> Warframe? Yeah, I mean, the, the nice thing is there's so many games out there just suit everyone's play style now, and, you know, suit their time or money, you know, uh, availability. I still don't do group content, Pyro. I'm still too chicken. Though I did do some stuff in Final Fantasy XIV. Mainly because I had people hold my hand through it, including some who, uh, I can't remember what the skill was. I had one friend who basically had an ability to like yank you into wherever they were. And so I just have a friend who would just like cast whatever skill was and just like pull me to where I needed to be. I'm like, cool, thanks. Perfect. <laughs> It's a, I mean, Final Fantasy XIV is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous game. 
Okay, you can stop now. Let's see. I, I mean, I did really enjoy WoW. I think part of part of the issue I had when I was playing WoW for the first time um, is that I had someone hovering constantly. So I never got a chance to just like relax and explore. I, he, I had someone who was like, he would try and help. But it was just overwhelming and I didn't want to like tell them no because they were the one paying for my sub uh, and it was just really uncomfortable and in the end it was just easy for me to be like I don't want to play anymore <laughs> um I don't interact with that person anymore so that's probably be less of an issue uh Rip beard. Um, but yeah, he he put a lot of intentional. He put a lot of pressure on me, and I think kind of ruined it. I thought it was like for even with the graphics, I think it's still a beautiful game. And for it to have the player base it does still is pretty fucking impressive. And it's not all just fanboys because there's new people coming into the game constantly. Yeah. Yeah, he basically paid for it. And then if I did try to do what I want, I'd start getting guilted. And, you know, he gave me like all the gear and would like take me to where I needed to go so I never got a chance to just you know play the damn game oh that's so pretty look at that so I know some people just want to help I don't know if you ever uh, I can't remember what it was I think it was scum that Flint and I played with Zasky might have been scum or something along the lines of scum uh, at Flint that Flint and I played with him and he was so excited and you know how effusive this is a, a friend of ours that Pyro knows um where he's so effusive and so charismatic that he makes friends with everyone in all the games and then all of a sudden we were like pulled into this like I don't know clan who had this fucking badass a fortress with like all the best gear and I'm still trying to figure out how to like reload a weapon and all of a sudden we've got like the best in slot of everything and I was just like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was a lot of fun like playing games with Zaskis and that's so good um he's just so enthusiastic getting a friend into a game must have make a new account yeah I mean I think a lot of time you get like you can have alts and stuff um I feel like just a simple like would you like company is there anything I can help with in just making yourself available but I think you know everyone has some people like having everything handed to them that's that's fine too <gasps> it's so pretty I I thoroughly like I love games where you like I can't remember if it was Scum or Daisy. Um it was one of those two. Um but you know like I love going around and like shooting zombies and lo love looting buildings but it was it was fun. But yeah, like the, the level of detail got a bit, <laughs> a bit overwhelming at times. All right. So this is, this is the new place that I'm building, by the way. Where we've come from is the house that I found in a modified. This is one that I'm, I'm building from scratch. Um. 
And I, I don't know. I kind of do want to play it, try WoW again, but it's such a there's, there's such a lot going on. All right. Let's try. Let's see how this goes. Never. Yeah, it's definitely like I, I have a couple of friends who are like, I can't, I can't play WoW. Uh, you know, they they have issues uh, with with games like that, and that's that's totally fine. I don't think I'm catching all of these, am I? I feel like I kind of maybe missed a, a lot of the uh, the hype for it. I knew when I so my first MMO was Final Fantasy XI, so I knew WoW existed. Um, because my my roommate's boyfriend played WoW. Um, but it basically my exposure to MMOs was was Final Fantasy XI first. Yours was RuneScape. I I played RuneScape three for a little while on stream actually. Uh, Flynn probably has played Ultima Online. Um. Actually, Flint, one of the ones that Flint really enjoyed was Anarchy Online. Uh, which he said was like, um, was really neat and that they would actually like customize quests for everyone. And I was like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of work. Yeah, he said they had like basically like GMs who would like come through and be like, oh, here's a quest for you. Um, but yeah, he played like EverQuest 1 and oh, I'm pretty sure he would have played Ultra and stuff as well. But my first exposure to, to online gaming wasn't until I was at university. Um. He was traveling a lot on the road, so that was like his thing to do to to keep entertained. Um, was to to play the MMOs. Yeah, Flynn's mum was like hardcore into gaming. Um, you know, like him and his brothers would have to like compete to to get access. She would get have like all the latest consoles and you know the best hardware. Oh shit, you fancy. Well, I mean, I it to be honest, that wasn't even something that I I thought of as being a possibility. Dang. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, I'm nearing I cap here. Oh. That's pretty awesome. I still remember, um, I don't even know what I did on the internet. I genuinely don't know. Like, I know I was on a bulletin board, but I don't really know, like, what I was doing. Holy. 
Holy crap, that's up high. Like it was just as like I would I would get online, but I don't really know what I uh, what I was doing. It was just this like place. <laughs> um, I I remember getting mad at <clears throat> at losing connection because someone picked up the phone, and I was but my stepdad was far more tech savvy. Um, and he used used our connection for work stuff. Why might why why not? I mean, I'm up pretty fucking high. You'll see in a minute. I get much higher. They've run out of tree. Final Fantasy XI was amazing, but it was. Oh, I still remember my ICQ number. I'm not going to rattle it off, but I still remember it, and it does. It is still does still work. Because uh, Flint googled it the other day and it came up with my name and I was like Shoot I think I spent a lot of time in my teens Saying I was on bulletin boards, but I don't know what I was doing Mine was eight Um and then when I hit university, it was like LimeWire. And I was constantly trying to make myself like a cool website, which is, uh, which was basically just bookmarks for things. But it was at that same time period that that's how I like, I, whoa. Uh, how I found my dad was through Lycos. Routine on the local dialer BBS is playing text. That's what Flynn would do. Flynn would, Flynn would play MUDs. He would go down to like the local... I don't know. He would arrange meetups with people through the bulletin boards and go play pool and stuff. Oh look, there's the ball cube! You realize we're all old, right? <laughs> um, I feel like this music is perfect for it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I don't really think I started really using the internet properly until I was at university when I realized what it was for, which was Napster. And my flatmates at the time were all pretty hardcore into gaming. Like they would have LAN parties and shit. They all had like special carry cases for their computers. Um, and I was a complete fucking Luddite, but we had really good internet. And they'd get so mad at me because I just like queue up like so many songs on Napster and eat the bandwidth. <clears throat> I was the worst roommate. But I got away with it because I was a cute I was a cute girl and I would take them to pubs. Otherwise they would never go out. So like public spaces. Took them to pubs and pool halls. Oh, we're sharing this beautiful moment together. I re so when I played Final Fantasy XI, um, I picked a uh, Mithra as my character's class, which is the 
the cat. I can't remember what it is in uh, 14, but the cat, basically. Because I thought it was cute. I didn't even know that there were perverts online until I started playing Final Fantasy and I had this little fucking Lala fell, which was the Taru Taru, whatever. Chasing me around the starting town, telling me what he wanted to do with his little, you know. And I told my friend, I'm like, is this normal? And she's like, you picked the cat one, the Mithra. Did you not think about it? Because the character, the starting animation is like rolling around and like flicking the tail and stuff. And I was like, no. <laughs> I had no fucking idea. It was, it was, yeah. I was like, oh, people do that? I'm a long way up. I kind of don't want to get down. Apologies to anyone who has like issues with heights. That's pretty amazing though. I'm gonna leave that there so I can plant some seeds. I'm curious to see what this looks like from further away. Of your blimp? Mmm. On the last server, Toast made this massive fucking blimp. Oh yeah, I could do gardening up there. It was such an innocent way in the way of internet. The good old days. Um. Oh, I did have some K-Pog seeds and some dirt. Go up to that dirt platform and plant some trees. I want it to look like a giant ass tree. Not like an ass tree, but like a giant tree. But then I, I also remember, um, all the ads being like sparkly and flashy and like comic sans and fluorescent color some banners everything looked like a fucking myspace page or bebo It's very homogenized now. Ow. No. 
Ow. Crime in my foot. I think I, re I remember using Ask Jeeves for things as well in uh, GeoCities. Yeah, was it Angel? Angel Fire? Like pre Google? Was Angel Fire? Yeah, that was what I used to try and like constantly make my own like website on, but it was literally just short shortcuts for. I don't know, some bullshit. It's very tall. <sighs> Live journal, Alta Vista, yeah. <laughs> it was like. Let's, um, should I, should I go back? Let's go back and, uh, see how long we've got. I genuinely didn't know that there were perverts on the internet until I played online games. I was such a summer child. A <laughs> sweet summer child. Mind you, this was in my mid twenties too, early to mid twenties. I was, I was an innocent. Not anymore. You even used aliases? Dang, Tars. Most of mine, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I had would have been like completely nixed because I used the email that the university provided because I didn't have my own email address. So, of course, when I left university, there goes everything attached to the email address. But I pretty much just use that. Like, I had no idea on internet security or... I don't think many people did in that area. At that time, anyway, this was like... Early 2000s. Like, 2000 was when I was at uni. What's just up, baby? I had to wait until I was 20 before I could go to university. I never finished high school. Um, and then at 20, you could enroll as a mature student. Uh, which meant that you get you could bypass some of the requirements. Yeah, I was... Three days. I don't, yeah, I don't think we're far off age-wise, but yeah, I, I didn't finish high school. I think I should have graduated in like 96. Um, or 97. I don't know. I never did though. I don't think it ever really came up as being a, a thing that I specifically needed either, which is interesting.
is so gonna go terribly wrong. Oh wait, I think I can just delete the bottom one, right? God, I was so far. I'm just like thinking back to like shit that I did when I was in my 20s. I was so naive. So naive. I guess that's the deal when you're 20 though. That's just how it is. Thank you, Cricket. Who is the supreme person? Is there someone I need to be watching, Cricket? Lynn's chat. Can't tell if that's just been a drama llama or not. Oh, Seems like they're being a bit dramatic. It does. That's that's what it's there for, is to remind everyone to take care of themselves. Oh, I think I've got all of the... the bits that I destroyed. Oh, one's taken the easy way out of it. Sometimes that's the easiest thing to do, is just be like, you know what? I'm afraid out. Um. Okay, so we, we no more automation here. Oopsie. Now I have to try and remember how I did all this. And replicate it at the new place. Also, the server is about to... ...come down in like 15 minutes. I hope I can remember how to do all this when I come back. So glad I put a door in there. All right. Party. Hey, Dev! Dev! Oh, God. 
Thank you for the raid. Uh, here. What will be your final fantasy 13? I love that you're still working through all of them. Oh god. Uh, but yeah, welcome in. Oh god, I forgot how to do things. Hey, leave me out. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what? What's going on? Um, welcome in. Everyone who came over with Southbound, I hope uh, you all had a wonderful evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm very distracted right now. Um, but hi, I am Deliria Dell. Uh, uh, my pronouns are she, her. I am playing Vintage Story, which is uh, just this game. So just a game. Uh, I can play other games if I if I want to. It was awful. Fuck it. It ain't right. Oh, now I've got a hole in my house. Every time you load into a new area in 13, you can feel life leaving your body. It's that bad? So, Southbound has, has been working, I don't know how long for, um, but working on going from, like, the basically starting at the beginning and working through every single Final Fantasy game. There's, there's a lot. Are you far through? Like, is there much to go? This will be okay. If you like mind-numbing, repetitive stuff, um, I'm running backwards and forwards, moving blocks. That's very exciting. We, we, we just did a big old uh, 90s nostalgia kick about the early days of the internet. Is, is there someone that you know who's played it so they can tell you without spoilers if you're like far in? I know nothing about the Final Fantasy series. Like, zero. Bugger! Well, you're just gonna have to keep on plodding along. That's gonna be great motivation. I did not bring... Oh, you cock! Okay, that's fine. I didn't bring all the uh, exhaust. <sighs> I've only ever played the online ones. I know nothing about the characters or the game. Less than nothing. <laughs> okay, darling, you have fun. Remember to breathe at some point. That's really fucking high. 
I don't know if I hate it or not. I feel like it's okay. It might be okay. Might be okay? Maybe? Well, I can... Oh, I don't even have the small gear. Put all the wrong bits over. Alright, so... It was supposed to go there. That goes there. Okay, what if I do this? There. Okay, so we're gonna dump all of these sails and things. What if I bought the... <clears throat> okay. Transmissions. Oh, hey, got a whole box here. Ta da! Alright, we can go back. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm waiting for the days to tick by so my fruit is ready to harvest. So I'm about ready to just like eat it and be done. This deer. Just keep standing on the path. So at that platform there, I've planted some trees. I think maybe I need to plant some trees further down as well and hope that these things grow up and kind of cover. And then I'll make sure that there's like a platform and like block the um the area like I'll, I kind of mask the the sails for the windmill so it just looks like a massive fucking giant tree or I could try and make it look like a mountain but I feel like making it look like a massive tree might be more interesting as a, a creative project um however the server is due to go down for its daily restart in a few minutes Which means I'm not going to get the veggies. Not going to get the fruit. I don't think my mango is going to dry in time either. The toss up there, even with the extra drying speed. Was it? I thought it was just... I thought Drax had added an, a noon, so there was a noon and an evening restart. Um, I did see Buck my post about it, I just figured that evening it was like if it's recrashed then he would turn it off, but I don't, I didn't look at it all properly. Two days. But come on, seriously. <sighs> I don't know either. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I am prepared to just like sacrifice the uh, the fruit though. I don't I don't care. I don't care. Not enough to worry about it. Yeah, it's like, you know, my pantry's full. Well, I'm, 
I've got plenty of peanut butter, I've got plenty of syrup, I've got plenty of sunflower seeds. <laughs> I don't know. The rest is fine. I'm willing to commit later. But I don't think I'm, I'm there yet. My goals are shifting as I'm getting more built up over on the other side. Um, so let's... Uh, Ooh. Echo's building, like, making muffins with marshmallows on top. Um. Let's send you over to Ravi. I'm gonna send you over to Ravi. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow from 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, what do you mean, no? Ravi is about to log? Okay. Well, don't come in here. Okay, I won't, I won't send you over to Ravi then. Okay, school night, yes, I understand. Uh crap. No, it's okay. It's totally fine. It means Ravi's listening to me while streaming. I can see you. I'm watching your stream. I see you acting all innocent. It is almost the weekend. It's not really made it to us. Uh, okay. In that case, I'm going to send you over to Soma. Uh, Soma is a lovely human. I don't know what the fuck they're doing right now? Or are they ripping up as well? I don't know. Why is this so hard? Can someone find me a raid target please so I don't have to brain? We could go see... Yeah, I'll say we go see Norwesty again. That'll do. I'll send you over to Norwesty. Norwesty is a Kiwi. Uh, we raided him last night. We're going to raid him again. Um, he's playing Vintage Story. He seems like a nice enough chap. Bit of a cheeky sh cheeky shit, but you know, that's how Kiwis are. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow from 4pm. We'll finish the... We'll work on the windmill some more, I think. Uh... I don't, it, whatever, something else. Stuff will happen, but my brain has like just, I'm done. <laughs> done. Good night. Good night. Have a good evening. Take care of yourselves. Please. Take care of yourself, because I will know if you don't. I'll echo. Um, croissant. Yes, croissant to you as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, here are uh, the raid messages. If you would like to do one of those, you can do so. You can make your own. Uh, fuck me. Don't know how to do. How do I do this again? Here, like that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm just gonna keep repeating myself in a weird, awkward way. Okay, bye.